Oh my gosh, welcome back everyone to the Jingle Jam 2020. Look, guys, we're over two million pounds <gasps> raised. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's amazing. That's the best. It's been a very successful Jingle Jam. You're joined by, of course, me, uh, Lewis here. Um, I'm sat here. I brought, I, well, this is going to be our painting stream. Uh, we've got Alex. Hello, Alex. Hey. I'm going to make TJ now switch the camera. <laughs> <laughs> There's no camera on Alex. No, so Alex no, is only on the wide. We didn't, we didn't have like a wide enough lens <laughs> to get all of Alex in. I love how I'm on. I've got my own camera. The star of the show. But Alex doesn't have one. Tom, hello. hello. Can we switch to Tom Cam? There is no camera on Tom, but this might. We've just got the white cam. There might be a cam on Ben. Are you ready? Bam. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, that one. Looking good then. <laughs> yeah. Which one? Which, I figured it out. Are you looking at the light or the black box <laughs> that controls the light? People in chat are demanding the song. I don't know what song what they song? mean. What yeah. song? Maybe yeah. we'll remember the song paint, if paint, you remember to painting donate. Painting guys, we are painting guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love that don't, song. <laughs> don't ruin our. We're gonna forget what the song is if we start singing an alternative I'm song. I'm pretty sure that's our song. If we had yeah. a song, yeah. that would be the one. Yeah, the painting guys song. <laughs> painting pals. Sure. Yeah, painting buddies. That was the name. Was painting that thing? pals. <laughs> God. And Tom is here too. <laughs> God, I kind of hate paint pals as well. We'll sing a song if you donate. What was oh, the next goal? We got donation yeah. goal. So if we hit, if we get pretty close to two million and fifty, that means we'll have raised more than we did last year. Wow. Oh, all well, right. That's a good goal. Mm. Helped, yeah. Helped more people. Helped more people. Done That's more good. good. So in done the same time. amount in half the time. I know, right? And if next year we can do again the same amount in half the time. Half the time. And then again. Just In just four years' time, we'll just have to do it in a day. Yeah. <laughs> one day. Oh do oh, a few years after that. that. That's just great. go live for one second. <laughs> <laughs> There's a single <laughs> from a jingle cat. <laughs> and Hooray! Uh, <laughs> and the line of diamonds flashes up. Love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just m m imagine the Yeah, you just have 24 yeah. frames of the different streams, one oh, frame per one thing frame in each. one second, and uh, boom, there you go. One for each day of Christmas, maybe. A little mm. advent calendar mm. of frames. I love that. Do you, and it's remember? Just one second <laughs> Do you remember when we were kids, you could, at the end of some TV show. What do you mean when we were kids, Lewis? We mm. said, we told mother we'd never tell anyone about this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we have to come clean. There were, remember at like certain end of TV shows, like Round the Bend, there was a mm -hmm. data dump. Do you remember this? And they oh had, they, they flashed like all this epilepsy causing nonsense at you. Mm -hmm. And if we, you recorded it on your VHS, you could pause it and like slow oh, it down and play it back. Frame. Like frame by frame. Were you full receiving of, like, signals from aliens as a child? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone <laughs> else? <laughs> from <laughs> children's this? TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Round the bend, you round remember that twist. one, right? Round, round the, the twist. Round, round the, the twist. twist. I remember that was an Australian one. There were loads of... Oh yeah, that was it. Does anyone... They lived in a lighthouse. Lighthouse. I never, ever did that. I never recorded it and deciphered it. But it was this like kind of thing that they did. It was this cool idea. Anyway, let's not go down that line. Today, no, I, I want to learn more about Round the Twist, the memory lane. It was like Twin Peaks for kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that. That's yeah. a good way. Yeah. Or like, yeah, crossed with like the X Files. There's a monster of the week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I remember there was one where a guy had like had he drunk oh. like a water spirit, and it gave him the power to piss really far. <laughs> <laughs> what power? And this was just like a kids TV show, <laughs> and they showed him like pissing over walls and stuff. Does anyone remember that episode? Oh Was it just a piss spirit? Is it on YouTube? Spirit? We need to find it. How, how did he solve the world or stop getting bullied by having that superpower? Someone. Did he just it declare? Like, or just see, a, a lot of people contest. remember it. Remember the piss spirit? Okay, so it wasn't a water spirit. It was it was because that's too broad. Specifically, piss spirit. <laughs> uh, well, this is the thing they do in WoW a lot. They have the elementals, and there's basically an elemental for every single liquid. So there's like an ale elemental. Oh, oh, oh no, every liquid. Every liquid. A rumental. A, a what? Rum mental. A rum and rum mm. mental. Sure, yeah, that not? works. Eggnog mental. <laughs> Is that it's Christmassy? Nog mental. Nog mental. Oh, no. Custard mental? elemental. They exist. Custard. Absolutely. <laughs> Every type of. <laughs> Everyone's just talking about cum elementals. <laughs> well, that's all the chat can possibly think. Of. <laughs> 
<laughs> don't oh, really right. Right. Get your minds out. Don't <laughs> That's around. where my mind went first. But yeah, oh, I guess the, it? The, cum, okay. the cum elemental. I was thinking, what's the worst elemental that you have to deal with? I feel like diarrhea elemental's going to be up there. I think, yeah, mm -hmm. without a doubt. You'd be surprised. They've, they've, they've really run out now. They're, they're, now they're onto weird stuff. Like, Weirder than diarrhea elemental. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'd be surprised wow. just how weird it's got. Wow. Um, so we're here today to, 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 to paint some Warhammer models mm -hmm. or build them. Mm -hmm. I just, I bought this, but it only arrived today. Oh. So can I put it on put close it on up? Yeah. This yeah. is the Warhammer Games Workshop Christmas model. They put mm -hmm. a model out every year. Last year it was a little goblin. Oh yeah, yeah. the red gobbo, the centre goblin. This year it's Jakob <laughs> Buck <laughs> Buckmanson <laughs> the 11th. <laughs> Uh, Brewmaster General. Oh, he's he's a, a, a steampunk dwarf. One of these Caradron Overlord boys. Oh, he's shit, really really cool. There Look at him. Mm. So it's like old Joseph Bugman, but like steampunk style. Oh, no, further away. Or down. <laughs> <laughs> so this like, was. If I just come forward. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. No, it doesn't yeah, focus, really work. Because this was this camera was set up and focused uh, for models. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Not boxes See, that works. Big. That's what it was set up for. Anyway, <laughs> for boxes zooming big. in is not helpful. Oh my that's god. Okay. It's, it's all on the fly. Be nice. Anyway, um, he's. I bought him. He's. I'll, I'm going to hmm. build him. He's That's great. Cool. He's, a really cool. he's a really cool boy. He's got a little yeah. mug of ale. He's got a little brew. A brew. Um, a brew, like a a brew, brew on his backpack. On his backpack. Yeah, very Man. cool model. So that's what I'm going to be building. Does he have rules? Does he have rules? Yeah, sure. I think, I think they, they make a model without rules. Let's then. find out. Let's find out. <laughs> yeah, we could. He probably does. Possibly. What are you doing? I Alex? hope he lets everything um, near him ignore psychology, but also suffer from stupidity. Oh, I don't think they yeah, have those rules right. anymore. I think that's too complicated. It's, it's it's <laughs> and he's got Gotrek's superpowers to beat, hasn't he? Oh, oh my wow, god, yeah. Gotrek. Yeah, right. Gotrek's like the boy. Exactly. Why would you ever buy this guy if you could buy Gotrek instead? Well, they apparently it sold very well mm. because the I think the Cardron overlords in whatever this update of Age of Sigma is, they're the best. Okay. They're uh, the best army. And what if his beer makes Gotrek stronger? Oh God. So then you always have them hanging around together. Oh wow, That's just drinking buddies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just going around just like smash hammering everything. <laughs> I, I feel like Gultrek is a very like sensible drinker for a dwarf. I don't Do think mean? he'd be the most fun drinking buddy. Oh my God. I always assumed he'd be really rowdy. He's voiced by Brian Blessed, Tom. That's true. I think I can. That's true. <laughs> I think I can build this kit in three hours. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing is like an eight-piece model. Yeah. It's really uh, straightforward. It depends if you have to make your own glue or not. Uh, all right. So, so what are you doing, table. Alex? Um, I don't know. I was going to do one of two things. I've either got like a giant to build, but it's supposed to be a painting stream, isn't it? Is it so painting? Like, you well, can be building. It can be building as well. Called paint pals. The paint pals. <laughs> paint pals. Uh, we're actually bros. with the build buddies. <laughs> <laughs> build buddies. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I got this guy. He's like a thing. Um, you probably won't be able to see him because he's like undercoated black. He's like a thing. Um, what kind of thing? He's like a yeah. There he is. He's um, a minotaur shaman. Again, um, we built. We picked up too big, big for the fucking camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, if we zoom out a tiny bit, that'll work. We we're already yeah. at max zoom, I think. Okay. I thought we were told maybe the top of it was missing on our monitor. And is it all right at home? What no, the, am I looking right at right here, home. Alex? I don't even know what this is. This guy. It looks like a Skeksis. Yeah. He's a lot like oh, a Skeksis, does. isn't he? Like a cow Skeksy. Yeah. So he's like a like a big minotaur. There's a company called uh, yeah. Zealot Miniatures who make like I think the best minotaur miniatures out there. Mm. Whoa. Fantastic. Better than the those Games Workshop plastic ones. <laughs> a, a tiny bit better than the. <laughs> that is crazy. And e actually, even better than the Warhammer Quest ones. Ooh. Ooh. They were special, Bold. weren't they? They have massive gloves, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those really big gloves. <laughs> they were so bad, right? Just walking around in restless stars, just getting ready to like bang people with gloves. With giant rubber gloves <laughs> on. <laughs> just looking like friendly cows. Oh. So yeah, anyway, this guy's this guy's rad. I'm into him. Uh, He's cool. He's yeah. a cool model. So, and I don't know what the hell I can use him for. Just like a massive he looks, bray shaman. He looks to me like what if Morgul, the Dark Omen, was a was a Minotaur. Oh yeah, yeah. he yes. replaced replaced that left arm with like mm. a spawn claw snip yeah. arm. Then mm. he'd be great. Yeah. So I might throw some paint on him. There you go. You can look at that cross for a bit longer. Cool. Um, 
Yeah, I might throw some paint on him. And if Good I get point. bored, I've got like one of those mega giants to build down here. Ah. I might join the build buddies halfway through if I get bored. Holy shit. Um, oh, you bought one of those what, 100 quid mega boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh. One of these. Well, that's definitely not going to fit on camera, is it? Well, like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, let's do the box cam bit again. That was People love that. How much off his feet will you see? He barely fits on the wide cam. Yeah. <laughs> In the box. He's a big, he's so, a big yeah. boy. Um, so yeah. there's, there's three different models you can build out of that kit. And that, what's the, how much is the kit? It's like 100 and... 120 quid or something. Ooh. So stupid. Yikes. Yeah. That but it's a, kind of a cool model. It is very, very cool. Super cool. It's mm. like the Titan of, of uh, Sigma, I guess. So. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. So I might do that. Um, I want to get flattened by some mm. of them in, um, in Sigma. Mm. But, then, but then we've also got a competition thing to do as well. That's, That's true. true. Yeah. So what are you doing? Let's move yeah, on. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, I've got. I brought a smaller giant. <laughs> <laughs> I can see where you two have your have your hearts. Uh, I've got smaller giants to build. They're smaller. They're little babies compared to the big giant. Oh. Didn't you build a giant for Game of Thrones already? Yeah, just like giants, man. You built two of them. How big were those giants? A half the size I've of these? Got them, got them in the other room. I'll bring them bring them back in later. Yeah. Because actually, I, I just realized I could be painting my bears. <gasps> my That'd bears. Be so easy to paint. It'd be so easy. I could actually finish a model. <laughs> yeah. uh, just dry brush city. Just dry brush a model brown. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, so... I don't know, I always wanted a giant army. For years, when Ben and I stream Warhammer on Wednesdays at five, mm -hmm. uh, we get asked, you what would be your, what would be your mm. dream army? And for years I've always said, a giant army. Mm. I'm like, that's always been my answer. Every time someone asks, what, what army would you like to see added to Warhammer? Like, that isn't already in there. Mm -hmm. And we're always just like, Ugh, they've already got basically everything. But an army of entirely giants. Mm. And they finally made one. And I, even though it's Age of Sigma, which I'm not in love with, I was like, I have to do it. Otherwise, I'm a liar. Well, this, <laughs> true. Uh, you you know, painted it's yourself it. into a real corner. You're only as good as your nice. words. I right? think they were watching the streams and they they were like, "How can we get Tom to come over to Age of Sigma?" Wow, and that'd be was that'd the be the only a way. Um, yeah. I think that might have been the truth. And what have you got, Ben? Um, well, just before I, j I jump into mine, I just wanted to say we just had a two thousand five hundred pound donation. Holy shit! Oh my god! Amazing. From Jackson. Which is amazingly generous. Like, holy cropoli. Jackson, you're the true battle boy today. Welcome to the battle boys. That's Honorary the... battle boy. <laughs> wow. That's, that's like 10 years worth of dues to battle. That's like, you know, <laughs> yeah. you're a paid up member for 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Battle boys. It's a shame we've all joined the paint pals now. Yeah, <laughs> oh, paint pals. You're all the real buddies. Uh, so you're kind of in there on your own, but <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That, that's, that's knocked the charity. Uh, thermometer up a whole notch already. Mm. Uh oh. Mm. We're getting closer. Uh oh. Oh, you only just hit the new song. The brand new song. Oh no. I'm smashing it. I'm very oh, impressed. No. Thank you, Jackson. Holy yeah. crap. Jackson. Sorry, I just had to get that before we, mm. before we missed it. And everyone else, not just Jackson. <clears throat> Everyone's been smashing it. Have you seen how much money we've made for charity? It's on the screen. Millions. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Literally millions now. <laughs> Not wrong. Are you oh, yeah. wearing a Games Workshop security jumper? Where did you get this from? From Games Workshop security? Did you work security for... No. Nah, I found it, no, I found it on eBay. I just thought it was silly. <laughs> that is amazing, because I, I, I used to work for Games Workshop and I've never seen yeah, that. Yeah, I've exactly. never seen that. <laughs> like, even know. up at their head office, like I've walked past yeah. most secure development rooms. Yeah, yeah. No one was wearing that top. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know what it is, but I think next <laughs> yeah. time there is sort of some sort of exclusive model for the oh. first people in the store, just boom. Bam, just walk in there. Straight to the front of the line. <laughs> Give me my give me clipboard. Oh, give me my <laughs> Gorka Morka limited Super edition Cooper special. Oh. Mm. Act that's like you belong. Mm. Exactly. That's the way to do it. Well, I have to act like a nerd or a security <laughs> dude. <laughs> I think both. <laughs> it's going to be a stretch. That? Yeah, Not I, that could, I can believe you passing off as one of those <laughs> very well. Um, <laughs> Oh, Alex is Alex is very you know he's not he's got the right height for a security guard got the yeah. right build. It's quite yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, so I don't do nerd well enough. No, you're just too cool. Wow. You're, like everyone looks at you and they just think Chad immediately. <laughs> <laughs> this big buff sports guy over here. 
That's right. Mm. Um, so what are you painting, Ben? Oh, yeah. So um, I've converted up these uh, these Dark Angel guys. Are they from um, Indomitus? No, they're no. like half Horus Heresy Marines, half uh, Age of Sigma models that I've like green stuffed and kit bashed together. Can you get my hand out of the way? Maybe oh, there you go. Up. Some Dark Angels. Yeah, so they've got like, you know, their, their bodies are from Stormcast Eternals from Age of Sigma. But I liked, oh. I liked all the robes and the knightly like shoulder pads, knee pads and stuff like that. So oh, you're like, right, they're the monkey, the monkey the Stormcast. The monks, sequitors, they're called. Um, but I really wanted to make some Dark Angels that kind of looked like they were at, straight out of Dark Souls. So they wow, they, like, they yeah, didn't, they I didn't recognise that body at all. Very cool. And man. I've got another batch that I've got to finish gluing because at the moment they're all blue tacked into place. These are my my bolt gun boys. You've added a lot of extra. Are some of these three D printed these bits? Um, no, the he the helmets are from a company called Spellcrow. Who, um, Spellcrow. Yeah, they do like various shoulder pads and heads like and stuff print. like that. Um, <laughs> ben, very impressed. And they look great. So once I saw those hem those heads, I bought the heads and was like, how do I make these into models? And um, turns out, sequitors. They look very authentic, don't they? Yeah, I'm really pleased with them. So I'm going to I'm going to try and finish gluing these together, the ones that are blue tacked, and um, get some paint paint on these boys. Amazing. And I I also have something prepared for you guys. Ooh. Um, ten minutes before the stream, I thought, what's what is Christmassy for me? Quizzes. Ooh. I bought a little Warhammer quiz. You I made a little quiz. Warhammer no, I bought, I brought one with me. Okay. <laughs> I printed it off. Very there was cool. a goblin in the Christmas tree. Online. <laughs> okay. I've well, got, you want to buy some quizzes? <laughs> I've got 16 questions about 40k. I've got Ooh. nine Jesus. questions about Warhammer Fantasy, and I've got 18 questions about Lord of the Rings. And they're quite hard. Ooh. Ooh. So maybe if we get bored in a bit. We'll do a little quiz and see Quiz Hammer, see how you guys feel Very about it. I'm excited Hammer. for a quiz already. Can you give us yeah. like a taster? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, this was meant to be filler, but I'm... You're excited. I'm you're excited. excited. <laughs> Which, it's your riddle bro. Oh, it's isn't your, it your, your riddling, <laughs> riddling nature. Which quiz do you want to have a question from? Which one are you most excited about? Ooh, how many of these are made up lore hammers, your hammers? Oh my god, oh. how many of them are made up? Is None of them are made up, I haven't had it. I oh had 10 god. minutes to make this. <laughs> I've not written, okay. like, I, was I literally printed the first thing I found when I Google searched Warhammer quiz. <laughs> it's okay, it's yeah. not very hard to find. Um, okay, yeah, go top of the list. Go Warhammer Fantasy. <laughs> Give us a Warhammer, or is it Age of Sigma? <clears throat> are you ready? Mm -hmm. Do we have to buzz or what? Mm -hmm. I think you have to honk. Who was the chief? <laughs> who was the chief of the Unbarogan tribe that united the tribes, defeated the Orc menace, and effectively created the, the empire? Was it Boris Todbringer? <laughs> Sigmar. Sigmar Heldenhammer. Full names, please. Marius Lightdorf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sigmar. Or Luther Hoss. Sigmar. Sigmar. But mm. at a bonus point, mm -hmm. uh, what is the name of his hammer? Oh, Ga Galmar. Galmar yes. yeah. One point extra to Ben for getting that first. Uh, who is Boris Todbringer? Well, he's the the elector oh, count. Like midden, oh, midden. Oh, point yeah. to Alex. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and who is Mad Marius Lightdorf? Oh, he, he's the guy who's he, he leading. He is an elector count. Um, he did, is he the one that had the bird? So there was, there was an old box of metal elector counts you could get, all on armoured horses, mm. and Toddy was in there. Mm. This guy, Mad, Mad Ludwig. Mm. Mad Marius Leitdorf. Leitdorf, there was a Ludwig in there too. He was a different guy. Mad Marius Leitdorf, he, I remember he was holding his rune fang upside down like a goofus. <laughs> Everyone else was riding him in like, like this, and he had his like that in a really awkward pose, like pointed down. Is that the answer? No. <laughs> That's the question you've taken me on a merry, merry little journey there. Who's he, you said he was an elector count, but of who? Marienburg. No. Salabaclan. No. Oh, Osterland. Um, no, the middle one. The Hotland. middle ones. Outland. Oh, um, the, the purple and black one. Uh, Sterland. Sterland, yeah. No. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> um, Nordland. No. Ostland. No. Um, how many more are there? 
Southland. No. Avaland. Yeah! <laughs> point to Tarlow. Oh You're all on one point each. Man, That's... it's really good that we just know these. <laughs> just off the top of our head. Well, there's no fucking around working our way through all of, <laughs> all of the provinces of the Empire. <laughs> well, there you go. And who is Luther, he Luther Hot Huss? Oh, he's, Luther he's the he's a warrior guy. priest. He was the warrior priest. So he saves Volton in mm. the Storm of Storm Chaos. Chaos. When Volton gets struck down by Archon. But what is his title? Luther Huss. Because he's not Grand Theogonus. No. That's a different guy. That's in Volkmar the Grim. Grim, exactly, on the Pope Mobile. Yeah, Luther Huss is just a badass warrior priest. He is a warrior priest, but he's got a name. He a must title. have a title. He's such a badass warrior priest. He must be called like. Very cool warrior priest. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Volton. oh, Volton's, what's his name? Volton's good friend. The Arch Lector. Is he um, something religious? Close, yeah. Grand, grand lector. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it from you. He's the prophet of Sigma. Oh, oh. There you go. yeah, because he's the one who spots Valton and says he's the chosen one. Yeah, he sees the kid with the twin-tailed scar. Yeah, and he fucking raises up the. He's Anakin. like, this is Sigma reborn. We must mm -hmm. train him as a Jedi. Oh. There you go, one point apiece so oh, far. Fuck. That was that was a little bit of Warhammer quiz. See, that was the first question. Oh my god, that got my blood going. I love that. <laughs> I love a bit of, <laughs> a bit of Warhammer yeah. nerding. <laughs> 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 I can keep going. Right I can place. keep going if you want. <laughs> Shall we keep going? Yeah. 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 The obviously um, the Empire is renowned for its knightly orders, right? Of course. Mm. Heavily armoured men of honour. Blazing sun. Who take Knights Panther. Knights Panther. <laughs> more. Knights of more. Wait until I've asked Knights you. Knights of the White Wolf. I have <laughs> all. Oh, yeah, I haven't one. finished Blazing the sun. question. <laughs> 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 Someone's got it. <laughs> One of us has already got the point. Yeah. You haven't. None of you have got the point. Horse. Right guard. <laughs> Stop it. You've named almost everything on here so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can you identify which of these knightly orders does not fit in the army of the Empire? Oh. <laughs> um... The um, I have a kid named Winged Archers. I have a name of Bongos Beast Knights. Yeah, correct. <laughs> it's perfect. That's I'm correct, right? Sorry. <laughs> I, well, I've, so my, this is my list here. Knights of the White Wolf. They're in it. They're in it. Obviously, They're Ben it. said. <laughs> Reichsguard Knights, there there it. It. which obviously, did you say that? Yeah, yeah. I think I said that. <laughs> and but... Knights Panther, which yeah. I think yeah. Alex said. And then the other one I've got on my list is Reaver Knights. <laughs> They're not <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Reaver Knights. <laughs> uh, a point if you could tell me what Reaver Knights are. They're um, Reaver Knights. I was just instantly thinking of... Um, Reaver Titans. Yeah. yeah. They're not the, the um, elven Reaver horse ride. Oh, oh they yeah. The, the, Illyrian yeah. horse archers are known as Reavers, yeah. aren't they? Um, Wait, is that not like a small Eldar Titan? Reaver Knight Titan? No. Revenant. Revenant Titan. Revenant. Titan. Revenant. Um, yeah, the Reaver... Oh, people are saying Chaos. God, shit, like... Reaver Knights aren't Chaos. Are they Elves? Yeah, Elves. High Elves. Correct. One point for them. Hold on. Illyrian Reavers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they're not knights. No, they're not. Reaver knights are lightly armoured cavalry units. <laughs> yeah, they're not knights. <laughs> lightly armoured cavalry <laughs> units. <laughs> they're called Reaver knights, but they're lightly armoured cavalry units. Yeah, they're from like Cav. Altiwa. Were they called Reaver knights? They're called Elrian Reavers, not Reaver knights. Oh, oh, man, this is elf law. Are you sure you want to put yourself up as champion of elf law? <laughs> I just feel like elves need to sort their shit out. And knights are knights. Knights are very different. <laughs> Bonus points. Reichsguard knights. Who mm. are they? Empire knights. The bodyguard of the um, Point Emperor. Point of Ben, correct. Oh, wow. The Emperor's personal bodyguard. Can you name a Reichs Marshal who might lead them? Yes. Thanks. Oh. Um, um, Borg. What's his name? Kurt Helborg. Kurt, Kurt Helborg. Helborg. <laughs> what <laughs> point for Super mustachioed. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> that guy's the fucking one. He's like champion of the emperor. He's like the emperor's champion in jewels and shit mm. like that. He's great. Model. And captain He's of the really Reichsguard. Cool. He's amazing. He has the best mustache in Warhammer. How do you know all this? Facts. This is best some amazing facts. Best Warhammer. It's got to be better, um, right? It's one of the best. Knights one of the, the yeah. Knights of the White Wolf are unique in the army of the Empire. Hammers. They use hammers. 
<laughs> you're and not wrong. They have, skins. <laughs> they have double handed hammers <laughs> and no shields. Point yeah. to Tom. It used to wow. make them, back in 5th edition, it made them the fastest Empire cavalry. Because if having barding on your horse reduced your movement by one, but having heavy armor and shield also reduced your movement by one. So most Empire Knights went down to movement six, which meant they went below the movement threshold for pursuing an overrun. They were only 2d6 pursued roll instead of 3d6. Knights of the White Wolf, however, no shields. They were movement seven, and they were better at like running troops down. Really? When did Sword and Shield make you... Um... Heavy armor and shield. Heavy armor and shield. Oh, so, okay. Heavy armor. But then in sixth edition, they, they upgraded it all the more to plate mail instead of heavy armor. Oh, okay, yeah, they gave them all. And then that didn't have a movement penalty. There you go. Um, the fact no one asked for. There you go. <laughs> Let's put them all. <laughs> Where do the white wolves come from? Minland. Yeah, they're toddies, boys. Middenheim, yes. Um, well, well Middenheim is in... Middenheim. Middenheim is the capital city of the province. Yeah, but they're, 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 what, they're... Why are they... Why are they... They worship called, Ulrich. Yeah. Ulrich, yes. Ulrich. <laughs> they Ulrich. worship the god Ulrich. <laughs> one of whose symbols is a white wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, like this is... <laughs> <laughs> why don't you play along at home? Oh my god, is this what... No is chat feeling like how I feel when I watch University Challenge? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Jeremy Paxman is, who once said, convocation of <laughs> Aristotle? <laughs> and I'm just sat there going, what the fuck? That's right. This yeah, is, but they can play the reverse. This is what the right right question is. <laughs> yeah. This is what's happening right now. Okay, it's good. Out of I'm glad I'm no longer on the receiving end. Of <laughs> yeah. That feels good. It's actually. good to win. It feels nice. Yeah. Um, oh my god. Okay, mm. the uh, the Knights Panther adorn their armor in exotic animal skins. Yes. They are crusading order. Arabe. Who achieved mm. their fame in the Arabe Wars? Correct, Ben. <laughs> Far to the south, of the Empire. <laughs> <laughs> No. They don't even make those models. <laughs> what, 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 what was the question? Where did they, where did it, was, it was where did they achieve their fame? <laughs> Obviously, Ben just got it straight away. Um, okay, cool. Uh, one of the major city states of the empire is Nuln. Mm. In engineering which artillery. Engineering guild. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna give boundary. I'm not gonna give either of you a point because it is in fact the seat of the Imperial Gunnery School. Oh. Okay. Fuck off. It's not it's not what's on my card. Wow. That's what you get for jumping the gun. Wow. You've got to be very confident. Jumping the gun. That's all we do. <laughs> what I'm gonna take my own private point. <laughs> what is also known as the or, or sorry, what 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 is also known as the more ostentatious name, Von Meinkopf's Macro Mainspring of Multitudinous Precipitation of Pernicious Lead. Oh, uh, the, um, it's either the volley gun or the repeating handgun. I think it's the I think it's the repeating gun. handgun. It's the Hellblaster volley gun. Ah! Nice. <laughs> Point for Tom. Um, how many cannons does it have? Nine. Nine. Well done, Tom. One more point. Oh my god. I feel like I'm just like, I can't even give you a, a chance. <laughs> There's no buzzing in. Whoever shouts the loudest. Yeah, yeah, that's the system. So Tom's now on six, Ben's on five, Alex, you're way behind on one. How much painting have I done, though? You have done more painting than them, I yeah. think. Oh my god, you've actually done a lot. Yeah, yeah. You painted the whole of the skin. Yeah, I painted like the skin on the dude. Oh Don't God. worry, Alex, you'll cut you have a chance to come back yeah, yeah. Have some bear in friends. the next round. You want bear friends? <laughs> my, that's the total sum <laughs> of my painting. I've done like half there's, a there's backup scenes. Are <laughs> 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 those standing up bears? Very weird mm. looking, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, they don't like it. They love each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm loving speed Warhammer quiz. You're gonna be quick off the gun. Yeah, pretty savage. It's a ruthless game. <coughs> Winner takes all. All right. Mm. So uh, yeah, pretend like I'm doing stuff. <laughs> keep shuffling things around. <laughs> <laughs> the the pervading influence of the worship of Sigma mm. is felt throughout a normal empire army, especially if it includes a witch hunter. Accompanied by a troop of these religious Flagle. fanatics, <laughs> flagellants. You're right. Um, flagellants. 
Oh my god, flagellant. <laughs> flagellant. flagellant. Uh, the oldest, the greatest threat to the old world is the ever present shadow of chaos. Mm. Whether this is represented by a full scale invasion from the north or by the activities of secretive cults within the empire, <gasps> it is a. Lord Sin Sin! <laughs> no, it is a severe danger. Can you name the famous emperor from the past mm. who led an army north into Kislev? Magnus the Pious. And Ooh. defeated a huge chaos incursion. Good. Yes, it was Magnus the Pious. Well done. Good fucking job. Um, sure. He hasn't had rules since 5th edition. Yeah. Maybe Here's four. a question for yeah. Alex. Mm. Who is the current emperor? What? Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Space. Oh, Everyone guess, knows that. Well, I guess actually, in yeah. Age of Sigma, yeah. he probably is. Yeah. Yeah. Point for Alex. Is the Emperor. It's Coral. It Who is the current Emperor? Coral Franz. Coral Franz. <laughs> Although it was specifically a Warhammer fantasy oh. section, wasn't it, I think? Yes. So, yeah, this so, is no, Warhammer I don't get a point for that. Coral. Yeah. Coral. Yeah. I'm giving Alex a, a pity point. So is he even the Emperor? Yeah. Yeah, that's why he had Volton assassinated. No, no, but um, no, no, uh, Sigma in Age of Sigma. Oh, he's a god, right? He's like a, he's like god, god king or yeah. something. Something like that. For an extra point, can you name the current emperor's personal champion? Kurt Kurt Umborg. Umborg. We, we covered we, this we already. We've spoken about this already. <laughs> There's another one apparently. Oh, another one called Ludwig Schwarzhelm. That sound right? Oh, chat agrees. Is that right, Look Chat? Schwarzschild. There you sure. go. Apparently, apparently we found a question that oh my God. you guys didn't know. What's he look like? Ludwig Schwarzschild. Oh, no. Well, that's a point to you then, Lewis, I Black think. Helmet. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can play along as well, yeah, yeah. Trumped us. Or Chat, no, that's a point to Twitch one. Chat. Twitch Chat gets that one. <laughs> yeah. There's, I'm, I'm seeing. I think the Twitch Chat finally off the scoreboard. <laughs> Schwarzschild. Come Schwarzschild. on, Chat. Show me a picture. I need to see this. I mean, how, he how has a great big bushy beard, apparently. How, how good's his mustache? He's got a good mustache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a oh, nice yeah, model. He's got like the super square chin. Did I just blend yeah, him yeah. and Kurt Herbal together in my mind? Maybe. Possibly. Oh, wow. I don't really recognize the model. Was no. it like an army box exclusive or something? It looks like one of those. Maybe he things. came out like. Oh, there's a much older one of him. Oh, let's see the old one. Where he looks like every Empire guy ever. I yeah. don't recognize it. Sure, Ludwig Schwarzschild. There you go. That was that was that. Fuck. That, that challenge. Oh yeah. my god. I had a question. Are we even true Warhammer nerds now? No. There you go. This was the test. <laughs> We've been found wanting. They, they sent Lewis down oh, to no. you know so we can renew our nerd license for a year. Um, this is going to grade us very poorly. Oh my god. What even am I now? Uh, all right. If we don't get all of these right, they're not bringing Warhammer back. It's going to stay as Age of Sigma. Oh. Um. Another famous character in Warhammer bears the name Skaven Slayer. What's Gotrick. his first name? Gotrick Gernison. No, um... He's in the book called Skaven Slayer. He's in the book called Skaven Slayer, but I don't so think that's is, ever been his title. So he is the titular Skaven Slayer. <laughs> there is some... Oh, they go check on it. Manfred. They put Mandred, though. So it's close. I gave the chat half a point. No, it is Mandred. Chat's right. Is it Mandred? Yeah, Manfred is a vampire. I've got Manfred on my sheet, but chat, I'm going to go with chat, whatever chat said. Half, half, full point to chat. Yeah, shit. Twitch chat were on the scoreboard. They're at the same score as you, Alex. Perfect. <laughs> 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 Wait, that's pretty good if Alex has the same Warhammer smarts as, like... Twitch chat. As you know, you're, you're doing combined? well. Yeah, thanks. I've heard of this guy. He's, um... I'm proud of me. Is he... He's real old. Like, he's a real old lore. Um... Let me try and find a reference for him. 12,000 people. Alex has the combined Warhammer knowledge of 12,000 people. <laughs> Pretty good. Not bad. I wonder what yours is. Mega nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Mega. Yeah. He, was, he became emperor for a bit after like <laughs> defeating a massive Skaven army. Mm. Um, I have heard of this guy, I just forgot he existed. How long is that? Oh, do you remember the book Enemy Within? The old Warhammer RPG book. He's that old. Oh, second. Oh, shit, so that must be third? 
Builder Dura? Something like that, yeah. But his magic item has been in the game for donkey's years, the helm of the Skaven Slayer. Like his, his magic helmet. That's been a thing for a long time. Wow. You remember that? Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Man, Mandred. Is it Mandred or Manfred? Mandred. Mandred. Chat. Well done, chat. They got it. They got it even better than this the next. Just, I mean, our, my sheet was wrong. That's how. That's how. That's how, <laughs> that's how, that's how niche that guy. How many other of these sheets these have are been wrong? wrong. <laughs> the northerly no, land of more right. no, no, Kislev. Mm, poor searchers. Ulrika. Tsarina Ulrika. Zor Zor Boris. Zor Boris. <laughs> Oh, well, like, Horse Archers is actually here the next, the next line, so Alex gets a point. <laughs> um, There's like four things anyone knows about Kislev. Ice Queen, Bear, Tsar, <laughs> Horse Archers and Wing Lancers. Yeah. Those, if, it, if it's not one of those four things... Which... Um, Wait, what was that question? <laughs> which real-world culture is it based on? Russia. 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 Russian, Tom was first. Well done. Uh, incidentally... Although, but the Polish... As well, because the winged um, winged hussars yeah. are Polish. Polish. That's true. Polish, not really Russian. Uh, well, you have... they rule by a Tsarina and their troops. Mm. They have boyars, they do. and Cossacks as well. So I yeah. feel like that's <laughs> quite Russian. But they also have Ungol horse archers, which are like um, like Mongols. Yeah, they're yeah. kind of so they got a blend similar of, in appearance. Got a lot of stuff. But, yeah. um, what about the Empire? What's what real world Germany, Germany. or the Holy Roman Empire? <laughs> I don't know if that was too. too uh, that was, which one? I'm giving you. No, I'm not giving you either a point. Ooh, ooh, what's the answer? It is Germany. But you were, you were both so. <laughs> you were what? <laughs> you, were so, you were so quick, I couldn't decide who was first. Okay, but yeah, God, did we just. Holy I'm giving Empire. you both a point. Yeah, I'm giving you both medieval. Because like, Germany didn't exist until the 1900s. What does the quiz say? And oh, is the, it based? Oh, is it based on World War One Germany? Lewis's, is it? Lewis's because quiz. No, Germany it's based didn't on exist before that. Modern day Germany. Based. <laughs> it's still all Germany. The quiz does say Germany. Ben's going to lose point. Germany didn't exist in the Renaissance. Ooh. Ben, we're, we're following the infallible quiz, which has never been wrong, <laughs> apart from the Skaven Slayer question where it was wrong. <laughs> it's based on. <laughs> we technically wrong. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so coming back to. I feel like he deserves a point for so, contesting a technical wrongness. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, based on nerd, <laughs> nerdiness. So obviously we know that many <laughs> of... So the Empire is divided into many administrative units, right? Which we've mentioned, ruled over by elect accounts. Yep, just like the Holy Roman Empire. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> um, which of these provinces mm. is not under the control of an, of an elect so, account? So no, no, it's um, Marienburg. Oh, fuck. Wait. Independent city state. I'm about to read one a list. <laughs> oh. Is Marienburg on the list? No. It's, oh, shit. It's Border the Princess. No. No, it's the one it's the one to the south. Um because that got destroyed, right? What? Then they didn't reinstate a um an elect account. Let's hear the answers, shall we? <laughs> Solid. Mid Middenland? No, that's got that's, one. That's a toddy. Talabek land. That's got one. one. Hockland. That's got one. Sylvania. Sylvania, that that's the answer. That's where the vampires live. Vampires. <laughs> D. But when? Because I thought they they did oh. get an elect account. Who? Right at the end, in the end times. Who rules yeah, Sylvania? Too late, too late to matter. Um, Manfred von Karstein. Boring von Karstein. Boring von Karstein is a critical Boring title. <laughs> the worst vampire. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> this is impossible. The Boring two of you are impossible. <laughs> I'm giving you both a point. Wait, what does it say on the quiz? It just says von Karstein family. Oh. oh. Okay, if it, was, if it said Manfred, I would have removed that point. I wouldn't want it. <laughs> you don't want a point from Manfred. I don't want a point from Manfred. <laughs> For a bonus point, d tell me about the moot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they have hot pots. <laughs> what did you say, Alex? I, I just shouted halflings. <laughs> okay, I'm giving you all a point, because um, you all shouted halflings at the same time. For a bonus point, who rules, who is the, what's the name of the title who rules over the moot? Oh, oh, fuck, it's like fucking MasterChef or something, isn't it's, it? Oh, I do know this. I, yeah, no, I'm never um, going to remember that one. I don't know the name, but the title of the person who rules over it is the... Wait, give us a second. Yeah, like the, um, the Grand Belly or something. Fucking oh, I, thought, like, I thought it's just something like, it's like a warden or... Warden um, of the small folk. 
Oh. No, I think it's to do with cooking. Is it like super, Supreme Chef, Master Cook? Is it something super generic, just yeah. like... I thought it was literally The warden like, of the moot. Close, no, it's Elder. 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 Oh, okay. Mm. okay, good. Shit, because I was trying to find Halfling Law for your oh, role. Oh, shit. That amazing show we do every week, Wednesday at five. <laughs> um, oh, fuck, yeah. It's, it, I remember it just being something really bland that you would have hoped would be, you know, a bit head, head chef or cook lord, but... No. And next question. Uh, the empire is a land of forests and rivers mm. bounded by mountains and seas. Oh, no, they won't get this one. What is the name of the colossal mountain range? World's Edge Mountains. That borders the empire to the east. Very good, Ben, the World's Edge Mountains. I always get my mountain ranges confused in Warhammer. God, that's a nerdy sentence to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's not. Of all my mighty lore knowledge, my made-up geography is my the made up, <laughs> My made-up geography is as bad as my real essence. For a bonus point um, about mount, question about mountains, mm -hmm. which, where would you find the Blue Mountains? Oh. I don't... The Empire. Southwest Australia. I, I, you mm, have to be, unfortunately, be unfortunately, you're going to have to think outside of the Warhammer fantasy world. What? What even? What kind of quiz is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> where are the Where are the Blue Mountains? Famously, in so, in, in, in fiction, Middle Earth. Correct. You're right. It's it's Middle Earth. Oh, a point for Ben. Ooh. Sorry, I had to let you. I had to get you out of the Warhammer yeah, we mind box. Wow. We that that, that like... gave me you know, fantasy law whiplash. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, I tore you out of Warhammer fantasy and threw what you the into Lord of the Rings. Uh, for another bonus point, which in which fantasy setting would you find the teeth of the world? Uh, that's Song of Ice and Fire. No, isn't oh. it? Don't they have? I've never heard of those. I thought they had... Wheel of Time, people are saying. No. It's not Wheel of hmm. Time. Chat's probably going to get this one. Oh. Skyrim? According to my... According to my... It's D&D. &D. There you go. King Kong oh. got it. It's, according to this, it's from Forgotten Realms. It's where the famous... Uh, Drow... Driz, Driz Duerd and done all of, most of his adventures in the teeth of the world. Mountain range. That's a good name for a mountain range. Teeth of the world, they're cool, aren't they? Yeah. And one more. Is there a mountain range in? The Grey Towers. Does anyone know where the Grey Towers are in mountain range from? Chat. Skyrim. Pathfinder. Ooh. Conan. Conan, that's Ooh. a fucking good one. No, unfortunately it's not. Raymond E. Feist, someone in chat got it. Very good chat. From the Rift War saga. I've never even heard of the Rift War saga. <laughs> they are the home of dwarves and were once the realm of the mighty Valhero Dragon Lord. What was his oh name? My God, Chad? I'm rapidly losing interest yeah, in this. I don't have a quiz shit about this at all. <laughs> Sorry, chat have got extra points. The dragon was called. You're just asking them random fucking nonsense. <laughs> the dragon was called Ashen Sugar. I just got it on this piece of paper. I thought it might be fun. Okay, cool. Last question. I signed up for a Warhammer. Class. Last question. We're going back into Warhammer now. The battle wizards of the Empire yeah. all come from eight, the colleges eight of, of magic. magic. One of the eight colleges of magic. Uh oh. Can you name them all? Oh, Jade. Oh, Hi -ish. No, 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 the Sorry. colleges of um, not Jade, colours. Jade, Alex. Oh, one. Jade yeah. is light. Jade, amethyst, and shadow. That's it. Light. Light. Amber. Uh, Bright. Metal. Metal. Beasts. <laughs> yeah. Bright. Life. Life. Heavens. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Okay, so sorry. Celestial! Celestial college. Celestial, heavens. yes. Oh, that's a good one. Celestial. <laughs> um, shadows. Did you... There's no shadows. Amethyst. No, that's oh. grey. So Alex already said amethyst, light, amber, jade, and grey. Oh, fuck. Oh. Ben has well, said we just bright and shouting. celestial. <laughs> there is one more. So <laughs> Alex just got six <laughs> points. Oh, metal. Metal, I said metal, you right? Said metal, but what it's kind of metal? A, has it got a different name? Gold? Correct. Gold, Gold, Gold. college, that's the one. Okay, so it's confusing because each of the eight colours of magic has got three different names. Oh my god, yeah, so they, the ones that the elves yeah. use, the ones that so the Lord Alex of Magic pulled back the so use. many points at the end because <laughs> you were just <laughs> shouting <laughs> garbage. <laughs> they were one point each. Yeah. <laughs> what? So, <laughs> oh my god, plot twist. At the end of round one, the scores are Twitch chat is on five. 
Tom is on 12, <laughs> Ben is on 12, and Alex is on 10. Oh. So you know, it's all about efficiency, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really save up all up. your energy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, the eight point point to concentrate on one question <laughs> That's true. as far as you guys go. <laughs> Alex knew a lot about the schools of magic, apparently. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Well done. Um, okay, well there you go, that was part one of the quiz. I what did you think? I fucking loved that. Amazing. That was a lot of wow. fun. That was cool. There you go. See, that was, that was easy. That was some little little piece of piss, bit of research before the stream. <laughs> now we have to go back to... Um, I, th I think the perfect quiz is one where you get like 80% of the answers right. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, like you don't yeah. want one a quiz to be too easy or too hard. You want to feel like, yeah, I know this stuff, but not... Like a walk in the park, yeah, you know? Yeah, you know every single thing. There has to be some things that challenge you or make you think, oh, make you rack your brains. I did a Zoom quiz with some family the other day, like a pub quiz on Zoom where we were like, it was a YouTube video we all watched at the same time and had to like answer it. Oh, that's cool. Which is a fun way to like, because Zoom is really awkward for talking, but doing like having a few drinks and having a pub quiz mm. all together on Zoom is, is good because you don't actually have to talk that much and wait for the awkward lag. Um, but, oh, geez. Every round was either, these are all so piss easy, everyone got 100%, or I know one of these 20 questions. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the balance was, was way off. I don't like doing a quiz on, on something that I clearly have no interest in, like football or mm. soap operas. Oh or yeah, oh, God, that's Reality like TV that. or... All that stuff that is supposedly common knowledge, but yeah. I know nothing about. Nope, expect heavily into a lecture Or the teeth of the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the teeth of the world. <laughs> yeah, other fantasy settings. <laughs> Um, I care about as much as them as I do sport. Speaking of other so. fancy settings, do you want to do the Lord of the Rings quiz that I've got ready for you now? Oh, I'm going to be substantially less good at that. Yeah, oh, it's going to be you? way harder. It is a hard. It's a really hard one as well. I, I didn't know how good, how up on your fight, your your. I have read The Hobbit recently. I read it to my boy at bedtime. Ooh. Took like three months <laughs> to get through. But wow, Ben, in that case, you're going to be at a definite advantage for all the Hobbit-based stuff. Yeah, because quite a few of these questions are Hobbit, Hobbit-based. But then again, so you, Tom's a big you Hobbit, the Hobbit fan. Hobbit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I watched The Hobbit yesterday, or three of them. I was keeping shit on there. Oh, I was like, like really sick. Yeah, oh yeah. my god, that's good. Alex, good. I'm glad I ratted you out on that. You, you guys, are like, we don't know anything about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Literally read The Hobbit, watched the movies yesterday. <laughs> was talking about putting together a fantasy fellowship last week. <laughs> like. I love how un I love how you just like totally prepared to set yourself up for a massive failure when all three of you have secretly been doing your research. All right, we'll test it out. I don't think like when it comes to like names, there'll be so, so many like who mm. was the forty seventh ancestor of Elathor? Don't worry, like, I haven't uh, got many of them in there. Elathoril, sure, close well, enough. These are quite these are quite quick, right? So mm -hmm. Ben's just got to get this first one immediately. Ooh. Hobbit, Bilbo. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, oh, shit. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? No. What piece of clothing? Mithril. Mithril shirt. Sure. Does Bilbo lose? Button. In his escape from Gollum. Button. Fuck. Oh, from Gollum. Yeah. No, he loses the buttons getting through Waste, the, uh, the closing door of the goblin mines. Yeah. No, he doesn't lose them. No, 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 it's when he squeezes... His buttons pop off when he squeezes through the yeah, door. Yeah, squeezing away from You're from right, it gone. is his brass yeah. buttons. But you just said button. All his buttons! Mm. Oh, so, oh, wow, it's going to be one of those yeah, quizzes, isn't it? Okay. I see, okay. <laughs> also, you have a point, but I don't want an argument about it. <laughs> but who, can you describe a button? Buttons as an item a piece of clothing. Of clothing. No. Okay, yeah, fine. that is a. Um, um, it was a problem with the question. <laughs> question. No, two. I think the question was fine. I got a question. Question <laughs> two. <laughs> Where is Legolas from? Mirkwood. Oh yeah. Oh, very good, Ben. That's very good. quick. Very quick. Okay, this is a bit harder. Frodo, Sam, and Gollum are captured by whom towards the end of the Two Towers? Oh, oh you know. Sure. Uh, Gorbag. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Grat Lashrat. No. Orcs. Orcs. <laughs> no, they're captured by some rangers. Oh, um, Faramir. Faramir, yeah. What, uh, what is their name? Are they the Faramir's rangers? rangers. Are they the rangers of... Orthelia. Ithilien, the rangers of Arda, the rangers of Fangorn, or the rangers of Beliorand? Oh, fuck no. Second one. 
<laughs> Wait, what's the first one? <laughs> yeah, third one. Italian. <laughs> Sure. 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 I go sure. number one. <laughs> number two. <laughs> Alex, what's your guess? Third, third one, yeah. Fangorn. It's in mm. fact, Tom was right. The range of the Huzzah, with my expert knowledge of <laughs> just choosing one vengeance. <laughs> okay, number four. What share that shouldn't be a point. of <laughs> Smouge's gold mm. does Bard claim after he's defeated the dragon? Oh, fuck. Oh. Yeah. One twelfth. No, it's more... I, I can't one remember. half. So is it... It's like a third or something. Is it A, one half, but he ended up with one fifth, or B, one tenth, but he ended up with one twelfth, or C, one twelfth, but he ended up with one fourteenth? Fuck Four twenty me. first one. Four twenty blast. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't they want to like evenly split it with like the elves, the men, and the dwarves or something? Yeah, there's, a, a, lot there's to... a real big debate at the end of the Hobbit about who gets what, and it sucks. I reckon the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Number but, one. Bard is like being super reasonable about it though. I don't yeah, think he. Cla- I, I don't think he would ask for a half. But the town gets destroyed. No, but the first one. What did they say? I don't know. Is it either a half, but he ended up with a fifth, a tenth, but he ended up with a twelfth, or a twelfth, but he ended up with a fourteenth? I'm going to say the, the last one. Tom? Sure. Last one as well. I'm just... Alex? I don't, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I choose that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, neither of you get a point. Ben gets a point. Hooray! <laughs> it was, in fact, he ended up with a fourteenth. <laughs> well done. Um, who said this? Nine companions. So be it. You shall be Elrond. the fellowship of the ring. It was Elrond. Where, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's the bit. Um, said these were Hobbit questions. No, they're Lord mixed. Rings. Mixed questions. Mm. Uh, question six. What is the name of the book that Frodo leaves for Sam? There and back again, a hobbit's tale. No. That's the Bilbo book, isn't it? For Does Frodo leave a book for Sam? Doesn't he just fucking finish that there, book? There and back again to mm. Electric Boogaloo. Mm. My, my one's got better films. Mm. No. <laughs> so it's either... It oh, is, I've seen Counter it, Garden so. Good. <laughs> it's one of these books. It's either... Reader's Digest Book of Gardening. <laughs> How do, how do Oh, it's the game. He leaves him a copy of the game to nice. get Rosie the bartender. Oh my god. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's what happens. Yeah. It's called The Red Book of... Westmark. But I saw that in chat. You saw it in chat. Chat gets a point. The Red Book of Westmark. Yeah, yeah they had that immediately. Well done, chat. Well done. Um, what, Tom and Ben and Alex, is Aragorn's childhood elven name? Oh, Mithrandir or something. Yeah. It's not what's on my sheet. Oh. oh. That might be his... Well, sheet's never been wrong. <laughs> no, the sheet's uh, <laughs> is really it good. A, Estelle, B, Gale, C, <laughs> Biafendir, or C, Searden. Okay, a lot of people are saying Elisar, which wasn't even on the list. Estelle. Yeah, Mithrandir is Gandalf. Chat, chat oh, yeah, right. Okay, you're not wrong. That's a good point. Oh, fucking just elf name. I know, they are literally all the same. They're all the same. I get, because I, what I do is I stop being able to read and pronounce them, and in my head I just go, okay, the elf beginning with I, the elf beginning with G, yeah, and then very yeah. quickly another elf beginning with G turns up, and I'm like, rip. <laughs> <laughs> that's another point for chat. <laughs> it, Estelle, it is chat. I think most people were saying that, so that's, that's a point for you guys. But well, everyone who said Elisar, wrong. Oh. Here's a couple of questions for you that you might not know. Hmm. What is the name of Bilbo's mother? Oh, uh, Belladonna Took. Correct, nice. Ben. I literally read that last night because we what? started The Hobbit again. What? We read, read, read The Hobbit in January <laughs> this year and then he's, and we finished it in like March. Mm. And we, then we finished like two other books and then he said, I want to read The Hobbit again. So last night we read half of the first chapter of The Hobbit. Wow, that's and fucking <laughs> real good. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So just in time. I look Belladonna like my, Took. Like my boy's got my back. Yeah. Apparently she was like quite wealthy. Yeah. The, and, um, the house that he lives in was built by Bilbo's dad using his mum's money. Oh. And it's like the nicest, Baggins like the nicest house in the Shire. Yeah, it's like the mansion of the Shire. Apparently, which is why it's like so many of the neighbours hate him because they want his house. 
boat. Yeah. They always they all want this nice house to live in. Interesting. Um, inter same idea, but what is Frodo's mother's name? That wasn't in the first half chapter of The Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Chapter no idea. Frodette? No. Frodette. Fred. Susan Williams. No. <laughs> Frodita. Chat, chat aren't getting it. It's, in fact, it's Primula. There you go. Oh, wow. Apparently it's Primula. Okay, I'm not giving you a chance to Google it, chat. Um, It'll be quick. You've got to just close. know this shit. You do. Uh, so that's a point to Alex, I guess, because no one got it. <laughs> so how oh, can I have all the points no one gets? <laughs> yeah. yeah, especially this round. <laughs> you knew that, right, Alex? Yeah, 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 sorry. I'll if you can say what it is Marvel. now, having heard the answer, you can have the point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, cheese spread to your Philadelphia or something? No, Primula, Primula. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were paying attention. <laughs> Very Shit, good. That I, love how you thought, oh. I love how you thought cheese spread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I locked where it you in went. there. Word it's association <laughs> there. Yeah. Very good. You've remembered Frodo's mother's name because it's the same name as a popular... Used to be a cheese spread. I don't know if it's still going. Probably oh, must be. No one's buying Primula cheese spread anymore, Alex. Alex. <laughs> Here's a question just for you. Okay. What race of beings was Sauron once a member of? And also Gandalf, I think. Once members of? Yeah. What race of beings was Sauron once a member of? Like, they're like demigods. Oh, shit. I don't know. Do you know, Tom? Ben? I it's, know that it's the same thing Gandalf is, but I can't remember. They're called like it's, it's another fucking elf name. Yeah. It's like it's it's Dulin. I thought that was an easy one. Star as well. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah. the, uh, chat, you got that. Yeah. No, I'm I'm looking at chat. Chat knows a lot more about Lord of the Rings than they do about Warhammer. Disappointing. Definitely picking up on that. It's fine. Like I thought that was an easy one. Sorry, maybe it wasn't. Who created <laughs> the three Elven rings? It's, Sauron. Sauron. Melkor. Sauron. Have you, you guys not played like Shadows of Mordor? Sauron's blacksmith. It's Celebrimbor, of course. He was the guy what? who made all the rings. That's not what the intro to the movie said. No, he, he said he gifted three to the kings of elves. But all of them were deceived. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember that one? <laughs> yeah. Well, that, I, think, I think they deleted Celebrimbor from the movies. Oh, then he doesn't he exist was, in my mind. He was yeah. a big, a very important character who was corrupted to well, not make that a ring. important, was he? He fought <laughs> if, they didn't make, if, if they made a movie of my life and I wasn't in it, I would not consider myself important. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I don't think Sauron even forged the Ring of Power, did he, in the end? I thought, thought, I thought he was... But he poured into it all of his hate and his malice and his will to dominate. That's what they say. He made one, didn't, did, who made the, what was the ring that Celebrimble made in did. secret then? There was like a ring that he made in secret. He Cochran. did make it. <laughs> <laughs> secret <laughs> pop ring. Yeah, that one didn't make it into the book. No. <laughs> secret. <laughs> just my, just my fan fiction. <laughs> uh, oh, he forged the elven rings in secret. Right, of course he did. Celebrimble made the elven rings in secret from Sauron and that left. Oh, did Sauron fight. not want to give? And that's how we else. beat him the first time, apparently. Did we? What do you mean we? <laughs> well, because we beat Cal we built if the ring was all that powerful, how did we beat him the first time? Yeah, well he chopped his fingers off. Yeah, well that's yeah. just they sure. had the ring the elven rings of power or whatever. Oh. There was some something to do with that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that was Because Gandalf's got one, right? He's got like when he you shall not pass that bit, he's got a um one of the elf rings. He's he's an elf ring boy. Does he? Is that true, chat? Is that true? Firing. Boom. Firing. Okay. There we go. Chat's getting an extra point for all that useful stuff. Chat's doing well on this round. They're actually four points up. Um, yeah. Lord of the Rings much fucking harder. Much harder. Start concentrating. Where? Jump in, jump in for the next question. Does Frodo travel to at the end of the, the, the Great Haven? Oh, America. <laughs> <laughs> the Great Haven, no. I think it is called that, but it's got another name. The Far Lands. Close, oh, yes. me. A third of the Undying Lands is what oh, I've got. I thought it was called the Great Havens. The Undying Lands is what I've got. So chat is getting a point Isn't that one of like the colonies? America. It's, one it's America, pretty fucking one America. Australia. It basically is. Oh, Great Haven is the name of the port, chat says. Oh. That the, the port that the boat leaves from in right. Middle Earth to get to. It's oh. not even Haven then, is it? No. It's more like the last 
You Although know, I'll, I'll take that rather it. than it just being called Blend Theater. <laughs> I'm just yeah. like, so, okay. It's worked, I understand. Yeah, great Haven, great. Doesn't quite make sense, but it's better than your elf names. <laughs> what type of animal does... Bear. Pony. <laughs> Alex gets a point. Bjorn! Bjorn. Oh, 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 no! You were waiting for that, Alex. Wow. You were waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's doubly embarrassing because I brought some bears. No, no, no. And you love or Bjorn. Just been staring at them. Mm. Uh, whereabouts it does the arrow that kills Smorge? Where breast. Little Strangling. breast hole. The, the weakness. Yeah. The, 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 missing, hole the, missing the missing. Yeah, the missing thing. A scale. Yeah. Tom can have the point. The it's, in, it's in the chest. In the breast. Mm. Wait, what's the what's the quiz? What's in the, the chest. Exact? Just chest. That's way too vague. Well, yeah. Oh, just has... don't worry, mate. Just shoot him in the chest. Yeah. You'll definitely yeah, kill him. That's it. way easier than he has one <laughs> tiny little bit that yeah. isn't covered in armor. Um, <laughs> who built the towers of the teeth? Who built the towers of the teeth? Orcs. No. Numenorians. Oh, nice. What are their name? What is the name of, of Numenorians? The Numenor. Men from Numenor. No. The Tooth Fuck, Fairy? Fuck no. Does anyone know? Yes. Bone Fairy. The Men of Gondor built it. Thank oh. you, chat. You got oh. that. Um, how do the dwarves... Axes. <laughs> Top down trees? <laughs> Axes. Digging. Digging. Uh, beards. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mining. How oh, do beards. the dwarves know which hobbit hole Bill out leaves a little marble yeah, on the front door. He leaves a rune like in the center of the green door. <laughs> and it looks a lot like it because it's like a also stick in the thing first like half of that, the first which is the chapter. same one that Warhammer <laughs> uses as dwarf in dwarf language. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's a fun Yeah, so it's fact. like a line like that with a pair of lines like that. Yeah. Which is the Warhammer is. 4 dwarf. Ah. Isn't it, uh, it's like a moon mark. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 maybe. Ben got it first, but I'm also going to give both of you a point. On, his, fresh, it. on his freshly <laughs> painted green door. Well so done. I get another point. <laughs> mm. He'd only just in, painted that door. In Hobbiton. Yeah. In Hobbiton, nice. He'd also told them, go to Hobbiton and look for that door. Look for the Not just look house. for a door yeah, in... Look, look for the fucking mansion in Hobbiton. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> probably easier. Look for the biggest house in Hobbiton. <laughs> the one with the really nice light. There's a, uh, yeah, there's a tiny little mark on the door. <laughs> Continue. That's, I think we're nearly done. <laughs> yeah. um, can you name any of the three stone trolls of oh, the Lone Land? Bob, Hank, Fred, Jeff. They've got just dumb names. They have. They, I can't. One's called Tom. Tom, correct. Henry, Bob, um, Bert, Bert, Jeff, Bert, yeah. Bon Bonkins. Bonkins. <laughs> One of them's uh, my. my um, Alan. No. Nice. <laughs> Close. Fucking good. It's actually William, my granddad's name. Oh, Bill. But isn't he called Bill? I said called Bill. Bill. Bill, did you say Bill? I'll give you a Sounds point. Sounds like I'm a name sorry. you said. <laughs> I did, I did. <laughs> Fucking load the scatter gun and just blast it. <laughs> Tom Burton, Bill. Tom Burton, William. William. Uh, and the final question. Wait, was that for, was there a point for each round. of those names? Yes. Or you're fucking kidding me. I would have tried way harder. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. <laughs> Sauron's original name of Myron mm. meant what? Dickhead. Dick. Fucking. <laughs> Ooh. What do you think it meant? Dark one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that. Um, the necromancer. Oh. Mm. Evil. Actually, you're actually. What do you think, Alex? What? Well, I don't know. You well, don't know. No. Uh, it meant the admirable. There you go. Oh, got it. Really? Shit. Did they make him change it? The admirable. Sugar tits. Sugar tits is quite good. Sugar tits is way more fun. <laughs> so, scores at the end of the Lord of the Rings round. Twitch chat got seven points, bringing them to a total of 12. Oh, Twitch chat. Good job. Tom yeah. got five points. Yeah. So, add that to his 12, and he's now on 17. Ben got seven points, Ooh. adding to his total of 12. So, he's now on 19. So, he's two points ahead of Tom. And Alex got two points to add to his 10, so he's on 12, the same as Twitch chat. Nice. So 12, 12 wow. for Alex and Twitch chat. It. Tom's wow. at 17, Ben's on 19. Wow. Mm. I got really lucky there, <laughs> reading the part of the office. Yeah. Uh, 
This oh gray is drying super glossy. Watch out for this one. Oh shit. Fuck that shit. Which one is it? Yeah, is it gray or it's metal? What? You pick up literal <laughs> silver. <laughs> I, sorry, no, filet, filet, filet on fat you, not gray. No one tuned in expecting a fucking quiz stream. I think I, I'm enjoying the war. I, I'm well, enjoying it. I enjoyed the Warhammer quiz more than mm. Lord of the Rings quiz. I've got 40k questions next. Oh, oh good shit. point sandwiching them. Yeah. yeah. Are you how how up on 40k law are you? Pretty fucking I, hot. That is very good. You're ready to kick some kids around the playground. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You are about to destroy child. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, Ben. Ben's got the 40k law just totally down. Totally sewn up. Mm. Okay, well this Should might we be do some kind of like handicap give him a bit mode. of a challenge and Shall I wait to the count of three before I answer? No, no, I think just Use your God-given strength, Ben. <laughs> Unleash like, the fury! Yeah, it's, like, it's like that scene in, you know, The Incredibles, where you're the little fast kid. Use your powers! Use them now! But you always told me not to! Do it, Ben! Answer the fucking questions! Um, be, be the hero All right. you were born to be. Okay, you ready? I think we... Do you want to save for after the break? Read a couple of donos. Okay, good idea. Good read idea. some donos. Good idea. And so we had um, Professor of Ravens. Oh. Hang on, hang on. What have you done? Well, I've, I've, we've got a really awkward setup. Professor where, of Ravens. Oh yeah, because you have to see on that tiny laptop like screen. This is the, the laptop screen to clear them and get the new ones. Professor of Ravens donated 500 pounds to the bundle. Wow. Thank you very, That's very great. much indeed. And also the bee hump says, if I donate in queen pounds rather than freedom dollars, does that make me British for the day? Yeah, I think you can get yeah, yeah, for sure. I think that's like um, you know, queen, queen for a day. You're allowed. You're allowed one. Yeah. She one. might even put you on the honors list. That's incredible. Yeah, Christ. Incredibly. Lots of people have been on there for a lot less. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not wrong. Yeah. The hero we needed, the bee hump. You might have to change your name before you meet the queen, though. The bee hump. The bee oh, hump. the bee hump. What that's does that mean? That's a fun name. <laughs> it's a fun name. All right. Uh, what else we got? We got Alex F. Uh, donated four hundred and seventy-five pounds to Access Sport. Holy shit! That is amazing. That's a lot of pounds. And they say, um, dropping in my donation to round off Big A Day. Well done to Lewis and the gang for another huge contribution to charity from the Jingle Jam. The whole community appreciates how amazing you are. Thanks again. Happy holidays, Alex. Oh, well, thank you very oh. much, Alex. That's amazing. Thank you. There we go. Um. Thank you very much. Leah Marie says, finally got my bonus. Donates 400 pounds to the Mental Whoa. Health Foundation. Oh shit, Leah Marie. That's, that's an incredible bonus, thank you. Here's your cut, Tom and Ben Best duo. Oh. No, you're amazing. Oh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All it together, guys. You do. Um, Cal Neath donates 300 pounds, which is also incredibly generous, and says, I just say I appreciate everything you've been doing and coming up with new ways of entertaining that's going beyond all you do for charity. Despite the grim darkness of the third millennium, I wish you all the best. <laughs> 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 it's uh, not heard it put that way before, but I like it. Well, yeah, it's it got a ring to it, hasn't it? Mm, grim darkness of 2020, yeah. For sure. Let's get rid of this bastard of a year. Yeah. It's been a real shit one. What a, what a lovely way to end the year though, right? With just an incredible like, outpouring of, of nerdism. Of generosity and nerdism, yeah, yeah. for sure. Really? How's your doing? painting doing? Have you had a chance to do anything? I have base coated some robes. Do we want to see those? Oh, wow, yeah, if you've got stuff to show off. There we go. You can actually make out what they are now instead wow. of just being solid, like, black walls. Oh, they look great. Um, I'm going to have to do another coat of that because, you know, painting cream over black is a dumb thing to try and do. <laughs> 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 but I'm trying. Oh, that's, Lord, I'm that's trying. That's the truth. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if we're lucky. I might, I might have some, some base coated robes by the end of this stream. Very. Are we going to do a challenge? Are we going to do a painting challenge? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very. Yes. Exactly. Have you got some space marines? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, They're in the Emperor's sock in the middle of the table. The Emperor's <laughs> sock. <laughs> this thing? Yeah. The Emperor's sock. Is that Christmas? <laughs> Merry <thing>? Sangulara. <laughs> Whatever they, they uh, call Sanguinor's it? Day. Yeah. That's what they say in Warhammer. Because he's red. Well, he died for our sins or something in yeah. the Horus Heresy. So they celebrate his, the anniversary of his death every year. Mm -hmm. Sang, what, sang, sang, sanguinous. 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 
Yeah. Blood Angel. Blood Angel Primark. Christmas Day, where they give... Um, they give presents. Give presents. How did he die? Horus murdered him. Oh, Horus. Oh, right, shit. But supposedly, according to legend, it was the, the single blow Sanguinius landed on Horus put a chink in his armour, and that, through that little hole was the Emperor able to... To slay Horus. Yeah. Oh my god, like I think, I think the Blood Angels just think that. Like, <laughs> yeah. like Bard and Smorge. Like Bar Bard and Smorge. 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 I always like to call him Smorge, like George. Oh. I just really like the idea of a dragon <laughs> called George. Because it just upsets the nerds. Yeah. Oh. But I'm sure they'll wreck on that me scene. happy. Because they're about to hit that point in the, in the novels, and they've changed fucking everything else. So. Oh. We'll see. Ooh, maybe oh, maybe they just won't even kill him. Ooh. Are you saying Sanguinius is going to come back? Because they need to make a model, because everyone Probably. loves a big vampire space marine. Yeah, they've, they've, um, no, no, well, I just mean, they'll, they'll change the bit. They'll change yeah. everything. They just they change everything. Well, new codex is out now, isn't it? Blood Angels? Is yes. Soon. Yeah. Oh, is it already out? I can't remember. I got right, a preview. A copy of it. Soon oh. TM. <gasps> well, you have got that that, that jumper maybe. on. Maybe. They probably let you have an early one. You just marched in there and demanded it. You got the Blood Angel Codex. I don't even know that's Maybe. the thing. Is it really out, apparently? Oh. You don't even play Blood Angels. I know. Fuck. Mm. Why do you buy these books? They're like 30 quid as well. Because I wanted to find out whether or not they changed the law. Oh, uh, so you're I the could... only person who buys a codex. So you've been to read buying all of the codexes and reading the law, so you're going to be pretty good in this war come around, huh? <laughs> it's going to be really good. <laughs> my God, the silent dark horse. That's, yeah. that's, what, it, that's okay. what I'm trying, trying to finish this guy off quickly. Who is the silent dark horse? Warhammer <laughs> we'll 40k. <have> <laughs> oh, it's uh, Belial! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. No, not Emo Dark Angel's name. Uh, that's the worst. Oh. Sounds about right. Yeah. They're pretty quiet. Mm. There's two different heads for this guy. There's a proper boring space steampunk head, and there's like a funny Santa head. Oh, with a I stupid don't like grinning the, face. I don't I, like his. Oh, I didn't Santa know he had a Santa head. head. It's yeah, not look. a Santa. It's just. It's the ugly, like beaten up head. Oh yeah, he's Remember got. Us looking he's, at that? Yeah, he's got a bit of a weird face. Isn't he's he? a bald man, but he's got a proper. He's got a proper beard and moustache, santa -y style. You could green stuff a, a Santa hat onto him, though. That makes a good sense. Yeah. That, I mean, even I, with my terrible sculpting skills, could probably manage a Christmas hat. I reckon, I reckon that's a challenge. <coughs> that's a challenge for this afternoon. See if we can find some green stuff. Have you got any? I went into Games Workshop today to get, a paint, to get this uh, cream paint I was missing. Mm -hmm. And um, I tried to buy some green stuff. They no longer sell green stuff. Really? Ooh. Games Workshop does not sell green stuff or super glue. If you can believe that. Oh, uh, I can kind of believe super glue. Oh, because yeah. they don't sell any metal models anymore. And probably, yeah. probably too many kids are getting their hands stuck together. Yeah. Because mm. a lot of people probably just buy super glue by accident <laughs> instead of the plastic glue. That's one way to solve a the problem. They don't sell any metal fucking stuff at all, do they? Yeah, they yeah. still sell some fine cast, but that's probably mail order only. Oh, there is some resin uh, stuff. There's always, yeah. actually, there are a few resin models. Yeah. Just really surprised me. I mean, I know you can get better green stuff cheaper from other places, but it was the convenience of I needed it today. Yeah. yeah. It was Antics open? Lock on and stuff, I suppose. PVA, right? Yeah. That's what I use anyway. And for those stupid little tufts that keep falling off. You got oh, God, yeah. Those. You've got to super glue those tufts down. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. But then Games Workshop doesn't sell those tufts. So yeah. they don't exist. Do they? Don't they? No, no, all of their basic materials is plastic stuff now, isn't it? It's all um, oh, sprues paints. of like vines and plants and stuff. Oh, shit, I don't know. I think. I don't think they sell anything that's not, um... Do you have a lighter, Alex? Yeah, you're stuck. I've got one here. Thank you. Uh, wow. Games Workshop. Dirty dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you try antics? I did. Which is where I bought this, actually. Brand new thing I'm, I'm going to try out. Never used it before. Called Perfect Plastic Putty. Ooh. Um, it's like, um, the theoretically, it's like a green stuff, but runnier. So, like, you know, you build a big tank and there's gaps all over it. Yeah. And then you spooge this over it and wipe it off, and it looks like a polyfiller. Oh, okay. But, um, that sounds pretty cool. But more, cool. more, more high detail, less shrinkage kind yeah. of deal. Yeah, the Vallejo plastic really putty good. was always pretty good, huh? The liquid green stuff was crap. Mm. Well, that's it. I tried Games Workshop's liquid green stuff a while back, and it was just, it shrunk so much that you had to do it like 10 times to actually fill a gap. Oh. Mm. Um, but I'm hoping this will be better, but I've never tried it before, so we'll see. Got it from a hop like a normal model shop rather than the Games Workshop. Mm. 
But then again, I haven't tried liquid green stuff for about four or five years. Maybe it's better now. I mean, they, they, fucking, they very, keep changing everything, don't they? <laughs> very diplomatic of you. There's, a, nice. there's, a, there's, a, there's an online place called Green Stuff World who obviously <laughs> sell green stuff, but they sell really? a lot of really weird... <laughs> oh, is that the place that do like, the molds? They do loads of weird... Yeah, green, the this, um, yeah. they sell this stuff as well. This, blue, um, stuff. blue stuff. It's um, silicon mold makers. It's really good. I've made mm. some... Um, I've duplicated loads of like weird parts using this stuff where you... Um, you put it in hot, boiling hot water, and it turns into like runny, flexible, like silicone. And then within two minutes of being out of the hot water, it, it turns solid. And you um, push in the model, and then you can make a mold. It's amazing. Have I showed this off before? I feel like I have. Maybe. Can I put it on this camera? A duplicate. I, we were missing, missing a bishop from our chess set. So me and the boy like, made a mold of a bishop, the one we had, did have. You're such a cool and dad. Made a copy. Honestly, just like <laughs> just cool for <laughs> <Don't> us. <laughs> We've lost the bishop. Let's make a new one. <laughs> yeah. I'm. S that's like. Oh, well, sorry. What's that, TJ? Oh, I can put it down here. Like you can see. Uh, boop. There's the old bishop mold. It's the last thing I made of that. I made loads of stuff with it though. It's um, especially like epic tanks. There's like loads of out of production tiny tanks for Epic that I've wanted more of that you can't get anymore. But because they're such simple square models, just, just push them in the mold, make more. So it's technically piracy? <laughs> yeah, real gonzo, <laughs> gonzo piracy. Um, but I guess if you're not selling them, it's yeah. not illegal, question mark? I mean, it's about as much as piracy is like tracing out of a comic book. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, and then giving it to maybe. your friend. No, 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 no if you're using it for yourself. I feel right? like I feel like chess models are a little bit out of out of production. Like, you know, you can do that <laughs> fine. It's not mm. like anyone's No, I wasn't talking specifically about chess. It was the um, games workshop like epic mod epic tanks that are about like an mm. inch. I don't know, if they don't sell them then you can't it's not piracy, is it? Do you know what I mean? If you can't if you can't get them. Yeah, if there's no other way to get them. Like, if I could just buy them, I would. It's easier than building them. If they're out of production, I feel like it's that's fair game, right? You'd think so, but there's lawyers who would argue otherwise, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess if you're not selling them as well, that's the other thing. Well, yeah. If you're not dealing in them, you know. I don't know. But imagine if they just brought back, if they're like, okay, fuck, fuck all these recasters and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 3D we, we, we're going to do like a 3D print on demand Ooh. any old model we've ever made. Oh, wow. that's, that must be in the works, right? Just for like it'd be so good. It would be amazing. I don't think they'd do it though. Because they, they stopped you being able to order uh, mail order by part like 10 years ago mm. because of the man hours required to like pull out individual components out of factories. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm assuming there's some kind of weird postage bot mm. that is handling, you know, 3D <laughs> yeah. printers straight postage into envelopes bot. that go out to people. But, oh my God, like any, any old model. And let's say you've got to just get the whole models, not kits. Yeah, not just left arm five. <sighs> Ooh. That'd be a good nostalgia boner. How many owners we got come in? Oh, a million. To so many. Read the big ones, Ben. 355. Uh, Seeker 82. 250 pounds. That's amazing. Holy crap. BJ Roth. Oh my God, I recognize that name. They say, hello, Battle Boys. Cue theme tune. Battle Boys. Great book. What's okay. the Battle Boys? It's the Bill Bill book. Paint yeah, they're, like the a knock, pals. they're a knockoff version of the Paint the Pals. 3D printed. They're the, they're the ones, that's the division <laughs> that the plays recast. games. Um, <laughs> Last week on the Jerk Off, I said I wanted to see more painting streams. And here it is. We've done a very small amount of painting. I've I've glued together half of this dwarf. Look at this. He's got no head yet. Really? Are you being quiz master? You have been quiz master. Mm. To be honest, in that time, my, my, getting that much done. This is this glue is totally blocked up. I tried using the old lighter technique to clean out the fucking... Mm. Did you did you use it properly? If you if you just pull the metal thing out, you can blob out of the nozzle. I know, but blobbing out of the nozzle pen is, is oh yeah, you've got some game. fine control. I want to get. I don't want to get plastic glue all over the poor guy's head. It's totally blocked up. Yeah, mine's wow. blocked up too. Very blocked up. More fire. Don't burn yourself. Tom. Oh, I think that guy, that guy was good the other day. <laughs> So for anyone curious, 
Don't you, do this. You should, probably shouldn't do this. <laughs> what it does is it heats up the dried glue inside and burns it, and then cle sort of clears out quite a lot of the, the gunk inside the nozzle. What have you done with yours? But it it's will melt the fume. So you know, right. don't have it. I found it. You've put the star bits through the plastic bit. Yeah. Alex, <laughs> that's the protector. I mean, Alex has got the protector, but he's got the, sh the mm. bit coming out of the end of it. Did you drill a hole in the end of your protector? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? Sorry. Then it's not a protector anymore. <laughs> well, you, how did you do that? <laughs> On why? So you don't poke yourself with it. <laughs> you I don't think I've ever had that problem <laughs> with my... I've never <laughs> vaccinated myself with plastic glue. <laughs> injected. I, I don't know. I don't know. I Use a lot it, of tools and I've stabbed I myself it, or drilled into my hand. I've, I've never had an accident. I've, 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 I've found it in my workshop like that. That was probably like a perfect little hump to put on to oh, okay, something. It's probably awesome. a conversion oh, thing. You, you like, shaved what? the end off to use it yeah. for something. Right, okay. Give it a giant yeah. That makes more sense. But I like uh, that you just left the protector wow. on there where you're like, yeah. fuck it. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> love that. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Thank you to No Name Provided. Thank you to Jord, who says, I was waiting today to a Lewis and Ben save the world's trip. <coughs> After last year, Ben killed my chump in the only casualty of a Phoenix Point stream. <laughs> oh, sorry. That feels bad. Well, there you go. You're now the most memorable person of that stream. You That's know? true. Who were the other five, ten guys in our squad? I don't remember. I don't remember those. And I didn't remember Jordan until just this second. <laughs> That's not what you say. <laughs> Memory of George. Um, thank you very much also to No Name Provided, uh, who says, you guys are great. Thank you for the donio. Thank you. Look at, the, look at the meter going up on the last day. Everyone's getting in their bundles. I know. This, this is the last, last chance. Very last chance today. Yeah, um, haven't bought the bundle yet. If you haven't got Go your incredible selection of games, you're, miss, you're going to miss out. Um, Honestly, Please don't miss out. It's, I think it's the best bundle yet. I think you've done an amazing job, uh, Lewis, getting that together. Oh my god, we got a donation from Marius Lightdorf. It says, Happy Festive, gentlemen. Happy Festive. Had to sell my noble steed, Daisy Kurt von Hellboring 2. Marius <laughs> 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 Lightdorf, what a boy. Uh, well worth it for this fantastic cause. Thank you, Marius. Um, we do accept donations of horses. Uh, in, especially in Warhammer Fancy Times. Uh, Osborn, thank you for the donation, says Bear Lake the Never. Thank you very much. Rubber Nuke got a dono in £100. Thank you, says Love You Guys, keep up the great work. Thank you very much, Rubber Nuke. Big dono. Um, Voltheris says thanks for all the Warhammer content this year for charity and for the Battle Boys. That's £75 special effect. Thank you. Uh, AH Kieran, recognize that name very well. Thank you for the support. He says, We're trying to get Mental Health Foundation to their goal. Here's my Christmas bonus. Thank you for putting that in, oh, HQ. And holy crap, job. we're really close, actually. If you jump on the Tiltify page, you can see how close we are to some of these goals. Like a lot of them have been funded already, and a few of them are just, just a few pounds away from hitting. Thank you very much, Knight of Knee says, "Love everything you do. Been waiting to donate for this stream, as it has all the best boys. Uh, make me proud to be part of this wonderful community. Thank you very much, dude. Um, that's sixty-nine pounds. Nice. Thank you very nice. much. Big dono. Kilgore." Donated, he says, have you seen my daddy? Is that oh. a Warhammer reference? Kilgore, that's, um, a, that's a video reference. Okay. Kilgore. Kilgore. Well, there you go. I, I name a lot of characters Kilgore. It's a good name. Name <laughs> it's a very good like, you know, I think in that thing, it was just like a, like a young boy, and I got to name my son, and he was called Kilgore. My son, Kilgore. Kilgore. It's, very, it's very determining his future, isn't it, you know? If you name your son True. Kilgore, he's growing up to be a badass warrior. That's ho the hope. Do you know what I mean? You can't be like a librarian. You can't <laughs> just go, go and see Kilgore in the philosophy section. Yeah. yeah I was closing a lot of doors yeah. from there, Tom. <laughs> so, you know, I just want my, I want my son to be well, a bit of a I want to be a ballet dancer! <laughs> That's... I'm going to go be a brain shaman! I'm sorry. You can't stop me! <laughs> brain <laughs> shaman. <laughs> well, that like, that's an old... <laughs> my that's God. an old meme. <laughs> an old Tom and Ben joke. Is a brain shaman like the Warhammer equivalent of being a furry. A fucking nerd. It's no. A, um, no, no, it's the beastman wizards. Yeah. Right. That's the, like being a nerdy beast man. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Uh, Dylan Phelps says, everyone at the office did amazing work this year to earn a lot of money and also putting together a killer bundle and raising almost as much as last year in half the time. Yeah, we've done a great, it's been a great year. Great bundle, new platform, but fortunately um, everyone has been so great just adopting it and um, putting up with the slight issues that we've had, but all the, all the bundles are going out now and um, all your games. Make sure you redeem them, register them all on Steam. 
Um, get them in there, support the devs, it all helps. And um, yeah, thank you. M Mini, Mini Noobster has 50 pounds. Thank you very much, Mini Noobster. And thank you to 50 pounds from Chris Moore slash General Seth. He says, hello, Battle Boys and Tom. Two million pounds, woo. Well Ooh. done all. This Jingle Jam has been an absolute blast. Quick shout out to the Tat F guys on Miller in Planet Side 2. Completed a 24 hour charity stream yesterday morning. Oh, good raising job. Raising almost a thousand pounds for Mind. Pretty good sick. Job. Freaking well done. Excellent work. Well done, you guys, Planet Side 2 community. Um, a game that I didn't know was still going, but actually, I, I yeah. used to play a lot of Planet Side like about six or seven years ago. I was like on it every day. I fucking I love that game. People who love it love it. Mm. That's the thing as well. It's very like. Yeah, you can get really into it. Yeah. Uh, Jaffa Cree, here's a question. Stargate, Star Trek, or Star Wars? Ben? Don't make me choose. I think I would have always used to say Star Wars, but I'm maybe now Star Trek. Oh, because what, the new Star Trek stuff? No, this because, is really drawn me Because away. I just haven't actually watched most of the new Star Trek, whereas oh, I have okay. seen most of the new Star Wars. <laughs> right, so it put you off. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. I'm becoming less excited about Star Wars what as life goes on. Oh, it's gotta be Star Wars. I've not really watched either of the other Alex? two Alex? Yeah, Star Wars. Oh, uh, no, it's, yep. uh, I, I love Stargate, but Star Trek is, is, is my jam. Forever, gotta love it. Uh, it's Cordial Wheat says, keep it up, you beautiful boys. Thank you very much. I downloaded like all of Stargate a couple of years back and just had it on in oh the background. Oh my just like, it's like, so it's much like, of it. I know, and it's all of SG-1 and Atlantis and all that. It's just so, yeah. it's all kind of like a soap opera. It's not, yeah. not, not used, it's not good. I used to watch SG-1 all the time. It was on every day on like Virgin Media, like Sky One, I think they put on repeats when I was at college. And so anytime I was like bunking off or had a free period, I'd watch like two episodes of Stargate. It was nuts. <laughs> I started so much. So much. All the other, all all the other everyone else is smoking, smoking behind smoking me. Smoking cigarette, <laughs> kissing a girl, <laughs> on the back of your boyfriend's <laughs> motorcycle. Like, None of that. No. <laughs> just just hashtag spam. Hashtag like Stargate. Stargate. <laughs> hashtag relatable. Let's go in for a quick break and get a cup of tea. And you guys can do that as well. Please do. I mean, are you surprised? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cordial Wheat. Thank you. Pine Bark Mini Nuggets. Uh, it's Tom, fun. make sure you take Lewis with you during your yearly hair removal. I had, a, I had a trim this morning, actually, so I'm not as bushy as I was previously. And Turin, gotta love me, the painting pals. Thank you, I'll read some more when we get back. Oh, Turin. Go and get mm. yourselves a cup of tea, and we'll be right back in five minutes. See you in five. Bye.
Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back. To the Painting Pals. <laughs> Bill Buddies. Bill Buddies Bill Buddies. Well. The Bill Buddies are here too. That's right. We are distinct from the Battle Boys. Yeah. And we do not want to get confused for anyone called that. No, you know battling here. Don't want to upset anyone in chat or otherwise. Uh, we are, we're, we're, we're making, Simon is booing in chat. Simon is, Simon has turned up for oh, Battle Boys. Oh, Simon. Simon, you have to be in an hour and a half. Get, get, get showered, get ready. <laughs> we're doing Fighting Fantasy in an hour and a half. He says, sing the fucking song. We'll Maybe, sing Simon, the Paint Pals if song. we hit the goal, we'll sing the Paint Pals song. Look, we're, fit, we're halfway there. Oh my God, we're halfway there. Oh no, are you? Oh, you guys push there. us over the edge? You guys can get there by the end of the stream. Something we might send you off with a very <laughs> special song. If uh, you can push us over the edge, we will push Tom over the edge. <laughs> with a special song. Uh, Lewis has donated. He says, thanks for the Warhammer streams, guys. My favourite Imperial Guard moment in any game will always be millennia year old Swordmaster Methuselah Soul Felcher getting run over by a drunk F boy in a basilisk. Perfect. Bad news. Was that Hellhound? Sad face. Was it a hellhound or a basilisk? He says didn't, he remembers basilisk. I don't. You didn't own a basilisk. I do own a basilisk, but I bought that much later. Methuselah Soul Felcher. That was a good time. He's a I good remember boy. that. Dark elf guy. That was great. Babylonius has donated five hundred pounds and Ooh. says, "Been actively combating my own mental health issues as the main focus of this year. Now I'm giving back to a worthy cause because I can." Babylonius. Holy crap! Five hundred pounds. Thank good you so shit. much. Thank you. Good shit. Um, we got a message from Sneaky Smeestad. He donated hundred pounds. We recognise that name. Thank you very much for your support. And insert name here says insert comment here. Very oh, okay. Nice. That's better. Um, did, does anyone want to insert that comment? I was going to say something mean and then decided against it because he was very generous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's literally where my mind went as well. Just. What mean words can we put in their mouth? <laughs> no, name, no name provided, donated £100. No name provided, donated another £100. Whoever you are, anonymous donators, thank you so much. Is it all the same person? Mm. I just want you to know that if you wanted to donate anonymously, that is totally cool. And thank, yeah. I just wanted to acknowledge you. Thank you, anonymous donators. Um, Turin has donated 50 We know him. Uh, loving the paint pals. Arangar. 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 Battle Pain Boys. Oh, mm. Pain Boys. What are Pain Boys, Ben? Or orc Doctors. Oh, of course they are. I thought they were weird boys. Well, they, they are weird boys. The Odd Boys. Odd Boys. Who are Odd Boys? Odd Boys are all the orc specialists because they're born genetically encoded with the knowledge of everything they need to know. So like mech boys just know how to build shit and fix shit. Pain Boys know how to cut up an orc without killing them. Um, so what, they just, they don't have any school? No. They don't have to go to orc school? There's no orc school, there's no apprenticeship. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get your like, your GCSE, your, your o, o level, I guess, your orc, orc level. levels. Orc nice. levels, nice. Custodian <laughs> Ryan <laughs> says, uh, long time watcher, first time donator, loving the Warhammer content and everything you guys do, but thank you Custodian. Oh, it's Custodian Rin. Uh -huh. I read that wrong because it's a little bit blurry for me. Cobb says, Happy Jangle, most confrontation companions. <laughs> the confrontation com companions. Oh my it's god. It's so catchy, that just rolls off the tongue. It does, doesn't it? I, lo I love it. <laughs> um, thank you, Cobb. Loving you, loving this stream. Thank you. Austin, thank you to Austin. Happy Fest Day from Austin. Uh, not the place, I think it's a person. Sam says, thank you for all the hard work you've done and two weeks of amazing streams. It's been great. What should be your favorite stream, Ben? Um, this one? Have there been other streams? Yes. Um, Many of them. This is the only <laughs> And you've been in a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's all been a bit of a blur the last two weeks. What did you enjoy um, most? What did I enjoy the most? I mean, the Minecraft community survey the other day was really fun. Mm. That was such a fun idea, like that was that we it? shamelessly stole from the Spiff. game jam. You, I was watching some bits of that. Game jam was great. That was really amazing. I'm always blown away by the quality. It is like, amazing what people, people can make in like just 48 hours. Yeah, it really makes me rethink my life. Well, you <laughs> wanted to do a bit of coding, didn't you? I did. I did learn how to start coding. Like, but that was I think that was about six months before um, I found out that my partner was pregnant. So that, those um, that turned everything upside so down. So those plans, that prototype game I have on my laptop somewhere, 
has not been looked at for six years now. Jeez. <laughs> well, Rip. you can come. It's still there. That's the beauty of it. Can always go back to it. Your ideas are always uh, always intact, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, uh, maybe. Um, the um, CSGO to tournament was really good. I think that stands out for me because I was expecting it to be terrible because we were all terrible at CSGO and I had a little practice game where I got was so bad in a, just a public casual game, my team vote kicked me out. Oh my yeah, God, yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. yeah, exact same thing. So I was dreading the, uh, the stream, <laughs> thinking, oh my God, this is going to be so bad. Uh, but but luckily, everyone fun. was bad. It was super fun being against lots of bad people, wasn't it? But the teams really like started to like educate each other and like pull together by the end, and people were like starting to come up with some, like, like I don't want to say pro plays, but I mean like some. <laughs> I don't some, think legally we're not allowed to say pro plays. People were coming up with strategies, um, and it was it was a hell of a lot of fun. Unexpectedly fun. Yeah, it was. I, I really had a good time. Um, yeah, so I think there's other sort of games we can do that with as well, probably in future. Mm -hmm. uh, so Drunk Pizza says excellent Jingle Jam this year. Can't wait to watch back all the vods for stuff I missed. Yeah, hopefully that'll all be on Yogs Live. I don't know how, mm. how long it'll take to put it all up there, but they, do, they of, do go up about two or three days after. Lots of good stuff. XX Dark Lord 529 XX says been watching Yogs since I was 14. Uh, you guys introduced me to a world of fun and gaming. And helped us through some tough times along the way. So here's fifty pounds to charity. Thank you very much. Here's to a successful twenty twenty one, dude. Cheers. Um, uh, Alex Irk has donated fifty pounds as well. He says, "Been watching you guys for close to a decade. And it's the first time I've joined the live stream and donated." Oh. Thank you so much for the countless hours of joy you've given us over the years. Um, I waited for your stream because I'm trying to get into Warhammer painting. Any suggestions? Oh, uh, lick the paint. Lick the paint. Lick, lick your of paint. Lick your brush. What? No, these are not suggestions. There are millions of incredible YouTube tutorials that cover every element of painting that I think is pretty hard for us to compete with or even... Because, you know, you can barely see the things we're, we're painting. These days, yeah, there's loads of amazing creators on YouTube who will tell you how to paint anything you want oh, yeah. from scratch. Mm -hmm. And you can basically say, how do I paint this model? And you can Google someone's it. done someone's a twenty-minute YouTube it. video showing you exactly step by step. And they've got all the stuff you need. You can mm -hmm. buy it. You can then like follow their tutorial and make it look far better than when we were kids and we didn't know what the fuck we were oh, doing. Oh god, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's the thing. We've probably because we had to like teach ourselves or learn from like our friends and stuff as we went along. So we've probably got loads of terrible, weird habits that technically oh, yeah. you shouldn't do anymore because there's like better ways of doing it. But it's too late for us. It's too Save, late! Save yourselves! <laughs> Flee! Fly, you fools! <laughs> um, yeah, so yes, but uh, that, that's the, 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 there's a world of useful stuff out there, and also any, any Games Workshop staff member will be delighted to... Um, mm, most of them have special days where you come in and they do like hobby practice sessions and stuff. You can sign up for those. Yeah, it's definitely like... Um, it's, a, it's like a more difficult, complicated jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, like a paint by numbers. Yeah, I always think of it just as it's just paint by numbers, right? Plus inking. Mm. Ink, ink by numbers. Yeah. I'm just sticking the backpack on. Uh, Thomas Harris says supposedly getting a bonus on Friday, so I'm Ooh. sharing it in advance. Oh my gosh! Ooh. We of course we didn't we didn't wait for we didn't wait this Christmas. You have to get it in now. So you've got to enter today. It does. If you don't buy the bundle today, you will not be able to buy the bundle. Grand Dinenza in chat. <laughs> I met him, a very nice meme, meme man. Oh, really? I remember he gave me some stickers with some funny stuff on. I remember. Nice. He's a good lad. Big fan. Um, thank you, Michael Six. Michael VI. Michael the Sixth. King Michael the Sixth. Cheers, he says. That's all we need. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Susan Williams. Uh, Peter Green just donated the hundo. He says, well done, guys and gals, for raising such an amount of money in such a short time and giving us such joy in a dark year worldwide. Thank you from all of us Yogonauts. Peter Green, thank you. Oh my gosh, we're doing it. Um, Blandman says currently finishing off an archeology span essay. Ooh. Yeah. Thanks for all the good laughs over the years. Also, screw dinosaur nerds. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The yeah. archeology span versus paleontology it battle. It continues. Continues. It's a, ter it's a battle from before time began. What is, oh, yeah. what's, sorry, is paleontology dinosaurs and archeology span old bits of pot? Yes. 
Right. And the battles continue about, you know, who's, who's the cool one. Yeah, yeah. I thought, <laughs> you're on the same team. <laughs> you shouldn't be You can't, you can't, you can't say, say that. that. They you take can't. great offense yeah, if you yeah. compare really? them to one another. I didn't know. It was, what? One's a bunch of boring old bone nerds, and yeah, the other one's the like pop, pop scrubbers. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, <laughs> I've just offended a large amount of people. They hate each other with a passion. <laughs> oh my god. I'm running out of instructions. I haven't oh. put a bloody body on you. We often joke about like what happens when there's like overlapping... Oh, overlapping jurisdictions. Yeah, when they dig and they find like a pot and a bone. Yeah. And then just suddenly the, the archaeologist is like scraping just very carefully dust in the bone. Oh, no, no. The, uh, it's like those movies where they come in and they're like, this is my jurisdiction. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So the FBI <laughs> agent comes in and says, we're taking over this dig site. Yeah. Get out of here, you pot nerds. Is that what okay? <laughs> I, I love that cliche. Don't give me any of this, my jurisdiction crap. Yeah. Although I kind of feel like I lean more to the archaeology side. No. Nah. No, because... <laughs> the paleontologists, they're, all they're doing now is ruining dinosaurs. That's true, they are ruining I kinda dinosaurs. I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of like people ruining my dinosaurs for me. Yeah? Yeah. What do you mean they're ruining dinosaurs? Well, now they've got uh, feathers and shit. They're just oh, like they're huge honking birds. colours. <laughs> it's like, oh, come on. Mm. Spinosaurus, not even a thing. He used to swim. It's more like a crocodile than a oh, big any, stompy any thing from Jurassic Park. Name a dinosaur. None of those existed. Uh, they're all like, oh, you know, in the, in the 50s, huh? actually, this oh, bone yeah, was right. near this bone. We got confused. Yeah. Turns out they weren't, we weren't really a dinosaur. All dinosaurs are a, a conspiracy, <laughs> it turns out. That's right. Um, George Burdell says, I turned 24 yesterday. Happy birthday for yesterday, my Red dude. Cons. Retcons. It's dino <laughs> retcons. <laughs> um, These fucking nerds. <laughs> there was every year that needed Lewis and Ben to save the world. This was it. Where oh, were you? We failed you, George. Now I have to watch Tom and Ben, <laughs> even though I know nothing about Warhammer except for their sexy lore. Oh my god, I love the idea that most of the Tom and Ben audience is just sat there miserable going, Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I say no x -Con. I Now I have to watch I don't even Tom like and Warhammer. Ben. <laughs> but I literally have to be there. I have to. There's nothing else. Uh, oh, like kids' TV in the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. You make do with what you had. Oh my gosh. Thank you very much. Uh, Leet Heisel, Heisel? Heis? Says, love all of you and what you're doing. Especially your balance act between complete incompetence mm. and utter genius. Oh. I wish you a happy festa and a happy new year. You, he just called us the C word, Ben. I almost read that out. Oh my gosh. Alex, do you, do you, well, not wrong. With the C word, Are you offended sure, by absolutely. the C word? Offended by absolutely, but it's got a nice sort of star on it. It's fine. It's fine. It had yeah, a, yeah. That makes it fine. Can could be cants. <laughs> yeah. you, oh, you, you yeah. cants. Yeah. yeah, you fantastic group of wonderful cants. Mm -hmm. That's what I choose to believe. <laughs> um, yeah, instructions sure. unclear. <laughs> Let me glue this bad boy in. Counts. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't follow the instructions on oh. this at all. I just sort of. Wangled it all. Oh, did you just see the small number of pieces and thought, easy? Yeah, I don't need to put these <laughs> together in a certain order. Uh oh. Have you just thought like a chaos spawn out of them? Just stuck bits <laughs> randomly together. Arms coming out of necks. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you very much to Inspector Space Time. Congrats on two mil from a long time Vodstroyan firstborn. Ooh, Ooh, fancy. I'm watching while converting my short Dark Angels characters into Primaris scale. Ooh, that's yeah. tricky. I have currently chopped poor Azrael in half. Shorty <laughs> Primaris next. Please wish a happy birthday to my beautiful wife, Cody Titi fan, and total Warhammer co-op player, Noel. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Man, a couple of people are having birthdays in December. I always think it's a tough time to have a birthday in December. Yeah. Mm. You get the double present syndrome, you know? Mm. Slash half present. Yeah, Jesus. What do you mean? He had his birthday in December. I know, real bad one. Real I on know. Christmas <laughs> Day as well. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Rubbish. Also, it didn't end well for him, did it? Well, his birthday. You know, he got, people came from all around to give him gifts. He only got three. Yeah, but Murr, Ben. What the fuck is Murr? Murr, I don't know, but I want well, that's some. not Pokemon <laughs> cards or V-Bucks, is it? <laughs> Where's his Game they... Boy? 
that's true. I don't think you would have been happy with Murr, Tom, would you? Would you have been happy with Murr? I don't even know what it is. I bet I would have loved it. You would have loved some Murr. <laughs> Murr. It's, like, it's like catnip for you. Yeah, you would love that Murr. shit. Tom just Murr. Just drooling in a big pile of, of the stuff. Famous Murr fiend. <laughs> yeah. Tom Clark. <laughs> That's how we know him. <laughs> the Murr fiend. What is Murr? <laughs> what is it? Chat will tell you. Well, chat will give you four answers. Oh, that's <laughs> I'm One not sure it's right. all that different to frankincense. Do you know what I mean? There is incense. I thought frankincense was. So was we just got a couple incense. of joysticks and, and some gold. It's smelly tree sap, shampoo, resinous incense. Mm. Um, thank you very much to the Korean Gypsy who says, congrats on raising all the money you have done over the years. You've fingers crossed you've reached the 20 million total mark. We have, we've reached we 20 million dollars. 20 million American dollars um, yeah. total raised for 10 Jam. years, which is amazing. Obviously, I was waiting until Alex showed his beautiful face before I donated. Perfect. Uh, everyone needs more Alex in their lives. I couldn't agree more, Korean Gypsy. Um, Except for me. We love him. Alex <laughs> needs... He needs less. He needs less of me. How do you get that then? Sleeping. Okay. Yeah, sleeping, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just like a, like a welcome break each time. From, from, from myself. Just, yeah. I say like, costumes. Mm. <laughs> ah, yeah. Alter ego. Oh, oh, role yeah, 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 role play. Uh, <laughs> I've broken, alternate broken, personalities. <laughs> broken all the mirrors in my house. <laughs> oh, God. Perfect. Fine. That's where Alex lives. <laughs> he lives in the mirrors. Hey, I've finished my project <laughs> for today. I've glued up my... my ah, your Bugmans. My, my Joseph, Jacob Bugmanson, the 11th. Can we get a, get a full screen? Fantastic. Oh, he'll catch up. Uh, there he is. There he is. Why, wow, he's so teeny tiny. He's small compared to these primary stars. He's a dwarf, He's a dwarf. He's a dwarf. It's a giganto. <laughs> oh my god, look at that belly. Yeah. They model that off you, Tom. Yeah, he literally has my physique, including... This dude. Including this my butt. <laughs> oh my god, I recognise those Tom Clark underwear. <laughs> and the bulge. <laughs> so you have the option to give him a little loincloth, but I, I, I'm a big fan of that little it's giant bulge. bulge. That's where you stick the people. What, the belly bulge? No, his peen. His peepus. His, <laughs> his perninator. Can you not see? The, yeah, I can see the bird. The bulge. <laughs> Here, look, the peepus. <laughs> Cut it off. Yeah. It's a surgery, he needs that. So, oh my god. It's like I'm watching Cyberpunk. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much to Colin, who says, love you guys, thanks for all the hard work. Can we have more Alex? Can we have more Alex in 2021? Maybe if we have more Alex. Only if you finish your 2020, Alex. <laughs> oh, wow. That's true. You've left, a lot of, you've left a lot of it round the side of the plate. Yeah. And we're not going to carry on until you've finished it. Oh. Uh, Kuroshishi, I recognise that name, says, I used to avoid battle boys like the plague. What? But one <laughs> year, like Tom and Ben has immunised me to this nerdy shit. And now that I know... It causes pain to Tom. I want more. Oh, why does we bully those we love? Kuroshishi, why, why do we? Why? Why do we bully those why we love? Why must we hurt the ones we love? Future Alone says, thank you for the 10 years of joy. You're very, very welcome, my dude. Thank you. And uh, Vash, Vashts 6583 says, got a bonus coming later, so take it all with your filthy charities. Oh my god. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you very much, dude. People getting in there, people who haven't even had their bonus yet. Yeah. yeah. First of all, I'm impressed that so many of our audience are getting bonuses. Yeah. I know, because it's been yeah. a tight year. Wow. You'd expect. Do you assume that they're all underachievers <laughs> who are bad at their jobs? Just like me, yeah. I don't think I ever deserved a bonus or ever got one at any of the jobs I had. Up until I started doing this. Is that why we never got bonuses? <laughs> we get Ooh. the lovely bonus. <laughs> <laughs> the bonus, Tom, is that you get to hang out with me and Alex and Ben. Oh, on yeah. A mon mon what day is it? Tuesday? What day is it? Monday. What day Monday? is it? Monday? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, Monday bonus. afternoon. <laughs> what? Didn't you hear? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, Sadabuk says, Here's a hundred pounds. Thank you very much. That's a that's a less than three. We love you too. Uh, and Mini Noobster says, S7 will always support you. S7 is a group of friends who became friends because of you. Oh. We will always offer to support the Yogscast to the best of our ability. Right now it's the Jingle Jam. Thank you very S much. S Club 7 are here. S Club 7. Secret, <laughs> yeah. secret oh. friends make, because of us. Name three of them. <laughs> 
H. Oh, oh well, that's <laughs> full step. Down the floor. Oh, shit. Tina's doing her thing. <laughs> Jake is God of us. There's a song, there's a song where they sing all of their names. <laughs> You're right. That's good brand work. Um, yeah, yeah, it's really smart. Sing a song with all of their names. Bradley was one of them. Bradley, Bradley yes. yes. Bradley, Rachel, Tina. Oh yeah, because Rachel, she was the only. They all tried she to was have, the hot one. Oh, she, she was the hot one. They all tried to have solo careers, and hers is the only one that worked. Rachel right? Stevens. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Man, oh, I so that's more than three. Bradley. Definitely, you got to yeah. win. Have I a point. think there was a Paul. There was a degree of uh, shotgunning on names again. Hannah. Uh, Hannah. Oh, Hannah. Hannah. and Joe. She's Hannah. got the flow. Joe. Yeah. yeah. She's got the flow. Up. Yeah. Wow, S Club 7, who knew? Who knew they loved us so much? Let's carry on with the quiz. Seven's too many for me. If I'm making a pop group, seven's too have many. Have you not heard of the fucking Korean ones? They have like one mm. called like K, K69 or something. It's like 69 <laughs> of them, I'm not even joking. <laughs> what are they called, 49? B B L T 49 what's it called? AKB48, that's what I was thinking oh of. Oh my God. What? There's AKB48, 48. they got 48. That's madness. Yeah. They must make no money at all. Can you imagine having to split your salary 48 ways? Wow. It's nuts. They have loads of them. They just have like, like to the idol groups are nuts. <laughs> and it's not even the same 48. It's like a rotating. They oh, get yeah, well, in and out. Well, that's the other thing. Once you've got money, based. they are just interchangeable. <laughs> you could swap oh, half of them and no true. one would Half know. of them have like the most successful ones have gotten left and they've replaced them with less ones. Oh, they were four subgroups. Can you imagine trying to negotiate for a pay rise with your manager and he's just like, oh, I've got. Hundreds more Koreans <laughs> willing to take your place. <laughs> no one will notice if you go love. Wow. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> it would be brutal. Um, right, so before we get to our topic, um, Alex is giggling away. We're on the we're doing a quiz. We had a started a Weimar quiz earlier and we've got the 40k section to go. Oh, so God. we're gonna do the 40k really section of the quiz, then we're gonna do the Space Marine speed paint. Oh, amazing. amazing. Okay. Okay. So we've got those things to come coming up in the next 50 minutes. So I better be quick. Wow. Mm -hmm. Jesus. All right. So score is currently Twitch chat on 12. Alex is on 12. Tom is on 17. Ben is on 19. But mm -hmm. Ben is the favorite for the 40k quiz. Yeah. I think. I think. So Tom's going to have to be quick getting the answers in. I, I just think ben, ben knows more 40k. All right. Well, it's not about what, you know, if, if the things I know aren't the questions. It's true. You know? Are you ready? That's true. <laughs> like, That's some true. of these questions have been weird. <laughs> yeah. These are quite hard. So, who acted as the origins of the Space Marines? Primarchs. Oh, the Thunder Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> Is it A, the War Warriors, B, yeah. the Fire Warriors? <laughs> ben, you've got a point. Thunder got, Warriors. You've got a point, Ben. It's the, it's the Thunder Warriors. Can you tell me about the Thunder Warriors, Ben? Yeah, uh, Proto Space Marines, m bigger, stronger, better than Space Marines, but much more aggressive and harder to control. And they were all killed by the Custodies. Exactly. In the final battle of the unification of Terra, the Emperor ordered that his personal bodyguard round up any surviving Thunder Warriors from that battle and execute them all in a horrible act of betrayal. Wow. Of which no one ever speaks. Okay. Well, you get a point for that, Ben. Well done. Right. Question two. Thank you. How many Primarchs were there? 20. 21! 21! I know it says 20 there, but there are 21. <laughs> and that sheet is wrong. Okay. It's 20. Would you like to explain to me why? <laughs> Tom's getting a point because it does say 20. Alpharius and Omegon. God, yeah, there's twin. Alpharius and Omegon are twin Primarchs. But they only count as one. They do not count as one. They are they two only, people. They only count as one. Uh, they always say 20. There are 20 legions, and each Primarch had his own legion, except for the Alpha Legion, which has two Primarchs because they're identical twins, and now everyone always forgets. I'm going to give Ben uh, two points. <laughs> One for each Primarch. A single point. <laughs> and Tom a point. There's <clears throat> <clears throat> blood in the water. <laughs> you can tell. Shark is getting into it. <laughs> He's killing me. Here's one for Alex. Mm. Uh, Astartes hero Belial is from what chapter? He's a dark angel. He mm. is a dark angel, Alex. There you go, you get the point. Mm. Master of the Deathwing. Mm. Uh, I'm not, I wasn't allowing Ben to answer that one since he actually have, has a dark angel's that. army and is building a dark <laughs> angel's army right now. Question four. Who resides on the demon world Medrengard? Oh, I've never heard of Medrengard. Is it like fucking... 
Fulgrim. Is it A, Abaddon, B, Perturabo, C, Angron, or D, Fabius Bile? I'm going to go with Perturabo. Yeah, I was the thought Perturabo. But it's a guess. Susan Williams! It's not Susan Williams, it is, Pertur it is Perturabo. Bo. I don't know who he is. Peter Turbo. That's, that was Inventor the one. Inventor of the Turbo Laser. You both got it. Yeah. Despite <laughs> Peter Turbo. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's He's funny. like The Iron Hands Primark, isn't he? Iron Warriors, yeah. Iron Warriors. Question oh. five. Yeah, really He's hand. very boring. <laughs> a very boring he man. He plays Warhammer. He does, he does. <laughs> Seriously, in canon, he plays Warhammer. Oh my god. Uh, question five. Who allegedly began the Gothic War? Abaddon. So the spoiler. Eh, eh, minus one to Ben. Holy fucking wow. good. That's not what's on my sheet. <laughs> it's apparently it was the Deceiver. Who allegedly began mm -hmm. the Gothic War? Oh, what? The, the Necron, mm -hmm. the Necron Catan Shard. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that might be new law. Ugh, new law. Oh, yeah, they is... changed all the Necron law after I stopped yeah. reading. Minus one, oh, according dear. to my sheet, because that is that is not what's on there. But the thing is, this is okay. a multiple choice quiz, and he's one of the other options. A bad on. Is he? Oh, oh my god, it's a trick question. Oh. So I feel like. Did the Deceiver tell Abaddon to go and do it? And so... Do you want me to look it up? Tell me no. about the Gothic War, Ben. You okay. might redeem your point. So Abaddon's 12th Black Crusade was to invade the Gothic sector because it contained six Blackstone fortresses. And he'd spent the previous Black Crusade finding the magic doodads that turned the Blackstone fortresses on. And so his objective was the, to go the, in there. The beeper. The beeper. Boop, yeah, the, the car beeper. Boop, boop. And um, the Gothic sector, the Imperials had like turned these Blackstone fortresses. They were just, they couldn't turn them on or do anything with them. So they built space stations on top of them and used them as like floating space fortresses. Um, and Abaddon went in and he stole three of them, I think. Four. Four of them. There you go. He destroyed wow. four of the six, it resulted in the destruction of four of the six known Blackstone fortresses, as well as the deaths of billions of Imperial citizens. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean that's just a normal night out for Abaddon. It's his move. Doing a bit of, bit of despoiling and failing. I'm yeah. going to give you your point back. The biggest failure in the, of the 41st millennium. The most consistent failure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they retconned all of um. So Abaddon the Despoiler has done 13 Black Crusades into the Imperial Imperium of Man, and he's been defeated 12 times. But they they changed that and said no no. He wasn't defeated 12 times in a row. Each one was technically a victory because he had a hidden objective. Technical and victory. Te technically oh, he right. achieved what he wanted before being beaten. Is that what he says when he goes back to chaos? And they're <laughs> yeah. like, so, Abaddon, we see you failed again. <laughs> well, actually, uh, I, I got have... the magic beeper for the Blackstone Fortresses this time. It was a technical win. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't find any mention of, of the deceiver. deceiver in this wiki article, oh so it's God. possible either I wrote this down wrong or I... <laughs> Quiz is wrong. Oh, I got the quiz wrong. <gasps> I think this is this is. A, I'm giving you the point. I'm not only giving you a point back, but I'm also giving you a point. Wow! Oh my god! For your knowledge, better than of that, because it pretty much it, everything you said is in this article, except for what I said. So better than the quiz, Ben. Mm. Giving you that. Um, what a title! That puts you on four points. Better than better than the quiz, uh, Ben. Not Ben, other people well, as maybe, well. maybe the Deceiver's involved somehow. I'm not big on Necron law. So Who was captured by the Dark Angels mm -hmm. and escaped the Rock Cypher during the Eye mm. of Terror campaign? So, who is Cypher? Cypher is... A cool guy. He's so oh, mysterious. He's the most emo he's, of all of them. He's, he's the most emo of space breed in existence. Yeah. He's the man with no name. He's, so he's an enigma. He's a cipher. Is he good? Is he bad? He's got a hidden agenda. Gender. You'll never know. Sometimes he helps people, sometimes he doesn't. He always mysteriously appears in the end. Oh god, fuck is cipher. <laughs> such a Ed nerd. Edgy dual wielding, like yeah. Yeah, his screen yeah, shit. <laughs> like. He's got his big trench coat and his plasma people. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa, it's cipher. He's like every 90s roleplay character you've ever seen. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, I love him. Next, Angron was the first leader to invade which Imperial planet? Oh, it's Fan 3? Is it A, Medusa 5, B, Terra, C... Oh, Armageddon. 
Cadia or D Armageddon? Armageddon. What what happened? So Armageddon is a big, massive industrial world quite close to Earth. It's famous for being the world that Gazgol Thraka invaded. Nice. Um, twice, and Commissar Yarrick had to defend against. But what less people know is that the first war for Armageddon was like years, hundreds of years before, when Angron of the World Eaters invaded it with his demonic hosts. Um, because he had such a massive amount of demons, the Grey Knights turned up to stop him. And um, after the battle, millions were dead, millions more Imperial Guard were like battered but survived. And the Grey Knights decided that the best way to stop anyone knowing about chaos turning up was to chemically castrate everyone on the planet and send them all to forced labor camps to die and just ship in a new population um, to replace them it's from other worlds. Sure. There was a place called Armageddon and everyone died. <laughs> <laughs> is that what yeah. you're saying? Correct. Uh. Okay. Good to know. I feel like they should have known that when they were landing. <laughs> yeah, there. not a good place to live. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> It's like, imagine like you moved into a house and like, what was the name of the house? Oh, carbon monoxide leak. <laughs> yeah. Weird, but sure. Yeah, um, why is this house up for sale? Previous owners died. <laughs> yeah. They found uh, it really pink in the basement. <laughs> I don't know what caused it. <laughs> uh, Jesus mm. Christ. Um, I've got a quick, I'll, I'm gonna ask other people questions next. Tom, we're gonna go in order. Oh God. And if you can't answer it, I'll pass it on to the team. What is Tom? The twisting path. Is it A, a warp route, B, a psychic power, C, a company of chaos marines, or D, a prophet of chaos? The twisting path. God, I, was, I just instantly assumed like a, oh, it sounds like a webway shit, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was but, going straight for Harlequins or something. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But when you said a psychic power, suddenly I'm like, oh, that does sound like mm. a fucking psychic power from the game. The, I mean, the, the, what was the first one? A warp route, a psychic power. A oh, I'll go to psychic power. I don't know, that, that right out to me. It is bit. a psychic power, Tom. You do know you're just not as quick as Ben, I think. I think that answer. was, no, that was a guess. Well um, done. What was your, what, would you have known that, Ben? No, I, didn't, I would have guessed psychic power because it sounds like one, but I didn't know it. I don't know what it is. Part. The, 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 yeah, the warp route sounds like a red herring. Mm. Is why I didn't, didn't go for that. Uh, Alex, mm. question nine. What or who killed War Master Horus? Oh, what? <laughs> you can get that? We talked about it 20 minutes ago. Uh, uh, his name is sometimes pronounced a little differently. Mm. <laughs> uh, the, the Sanguinius. He did it. No. Maybe. Sanguinius was the killed main, by Horus. Who killed Warmaster Horus <laughs> of the Victor Horus Heresy? Old famous Warhammer artwork. Horus rose up. Was it Kragler? Kragler killed Magnus Kragler. Magnus Kragler. He's got to be the guy. Magnus Kragler, well, king of the space marines. Exactly. King know. of the space marines. If he's going to kill the king of the bad space marines, <laughs> like, that's an yeah. epic battle. That makes sense. Exactly. But no. no? Tom, who is it? It's the Emperor. <coughs> Jimmy Space. Uh, Jimmy Space. <laughs> Jimmy Space. <laughs> it is the God Emperor, that's right. Jimmy Space of the Space Marines. Uh, well done, chat. Uh, where does the next greatest concentration of humans in the galaxy, mm -hmm. after the peoples of the Imperium, exist? Tau Empire. Oh, wow. probably. Imagine, imagine that. Is it A, the Eye of Terror, B, the Tower of Terror, Eye of Terror. <laughs> C, Armageddon, or D, Death World? Wait, what? What? Those are all Death? in the Imperium. Also, Death World. There are millions of Death that's Worlds. That's just a type of planet. Yeah. Death World. But, but that, <laughs> that's just. I've the... got the quiz. Okay, <laughs> hey, read that question again. <laughs> Where does the most. Greatest cause, where does the next greatest concentration of humans in the galaxy after the peoples of the Imperium exist? So all the things you read out were part of the Imperium. Eye <laughs> of Terror, Tau Empire, Armageddon, <laughs> Death World. Well, Armageddon and Death Worlds are part of the Imperium. So... Eye of Terror, that I've kind of makes sense. Eye of Terror would have millions of people in it because there are hundreds of demon worlds in the Eye of Terror. Yeah, but then the Tau Empire also... I bet there's a line in a Tau Codex that says... Y yeah, that's... Like, like a whole bunch of imperial worlds are occupied by the Tau, and so humans live there um, under Tau rule. What are you going to guess? So I think. So I, I did say Tau Empire. Mm, you did. Well, I think but then, 
Well, you'd be wrong, it's the Eye of Terror. Oh. <laughs> Point two, Alex and Twitch chat. Nice. Um, wow, Death World. <laughs> Nailed it. Death World. Who famously <laughs> said... <laughs> we need three more answers for this question! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me anything! Anything on Death World! <laughs> Just put Death World, they won't know. Uh, who famously said, mm. if the path to salvation leads through the halls of purgatory, then so be it. Oh, fuck me. That could be anyone. Yeah. If the path to salvation leads through the halls of purgatory, then so be it. Guesses. Um, Alpharius. No. Uh, oh, yeah, so I'm not going to guess. Sola Macarius. Who? Lord Sola Macarius, the Alexander yeah. the Great Ooh. of the Imperium. No. The Magnus Craglar. <laughs> No. Jimmy Spanx! <laughs> is, no. <laughs> is it uh, A, Araman the Exiled One, B, Khan the Betrayer, oh, C, that sang sounds like an Sanguinius, Araman. or D, the Swarm Lord? The Swarm Lord! Wow! Famous <laughs> <Yeah>. fishkiver, <laughs> fucking tyranny hive monster. <laughs> what? Oh, what? He looks like the alien queen with swords, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I re if yeah. the path to salvation leads through the halls of purgatory, then so be it. Yeah, wow. sure. okay. I choose Swarmlord. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. Swarmlord I'm, sounds the coolest. I'm doubling down. I'm going to. Yeah. I don't. It was, in fact, Aramund. Oh, what? <laughs> the exiled one. That doesn't make any points sense. to Twitch chat. I said Aramund. You didn't. I did. Uh, as soon as he said his name, you, I said it sounds like said an Aramund. Yeah. Who was him together? <laughs> who was the last Primarch mm. to be reclaimed by the God Emperor? Oh, uh, Alpharius uh, and Omegon, right? No. Were they not the last? No, they're the twentieth Legion. They're the last Legion, but they weren't the last to be found. Um, I think it was. Was it Fulgrim? I thought he was much earlier. Well, I've already got I've got Alpharius written here as the answer. I'm really? pretty sure oh, they okay. were the last. So yeah, mm. 20th Legion was found last. Probably. Although, oh, wow. okay. because they are different people, one of them would have been found a split second before the other. <gasps> you know, like twins are born. Well, the rumor at is different that times. Omegon was never scattered across the galaxy. He grew up with the Emperor. What? He was the only non-scattered Primarch, and no one knew about him. What? Because um, there were there were three tales of how Alpharius was found, all of I which are in cups. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, each yeah. contain an ounce of truth. <laughs> okay, as with all of the Alpha Legion, it's shrouded in secrecy and mystery. So mysterious. Why did he spunk all of his seed <laughs> out into the universe? Um, the it used to be that it was just vague, vague generic forces of chaos scattered yeah. across the galaxy in an effort to like get them away from the Emperor, because he was going to use them to defeat Chaos. But there's been like a bit of a retcon in the new books, where the, the woman who donated, she's like, if the Emperor's their dad, she's their mum. She's like the scientist who helped them make them. I don't know yeah, if they Astartes. used her. Yeah, they used her. Oh yeah, that's the other dumb thing. She's called something Astartes, which sure. is why Space Marines are called Adeptus Astartes. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with the fact that it sounds like Greek for stars and they are space marines. <laughs> no, let's right. just name someone. <laughs> like Jimmy Space. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's just Jimmy geez. Space this shit again. Jeez, Mrs. Space, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Mrs. Astartes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, she was sad that her children were going to be used for war. I don't know what she thought she was getting into in the first place. But she was yeah. like, make me 20 <laughs> giant supermen to continue my war to the stars. <laughs> she was like, yeah. Like, I will burst them. But you better not use them for war. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so she wanted a better life for her children. So she like scattered them to the warp. She just abandoned them. And they all grew up in horrible, grisly death worlds with abusive parents. <laughs> like had the worst lives imaginable. Um, for most of them did anyway. Not all of them. Um, oh god, well there you go. <laughs> and then she got murdered by the Emperor apparently, so yeah. that's a good but way to go. Him. Well, everyone betrays him eventually. Did she betray him? Yeah, because he wanted his, his spacemans to conquer the galaxy and she like sent them away. Oh, she... So what, did she, he just fucking murder her? Did she like Superman her, the dudes out in the little pods? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, that's cool. 
I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little. Oh, pod. now, now I can't. That sounds like me like telling the, my mum. I like, <laughs> I like oh, that's, baby, that's, baby that's beef nice. men arrived. Baby super, baby beef supermen arriving yeah, yeah. on planets mm. and just instantly like kicking the ass of like the local population. Yeah, that's yeah. basically yeah. what yeah. happened. Almost all of them did. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, there's Toddler, like 18 stories of that basic exact. Same except thing. for one, except for Angron, he's the only one who doesn't become like king of the world. Because he... He becomes king of the slaves. He becomes Spartacus. He, he turns into Spartacus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What um, did he do? Yeah. Oh, now I can't unsee Jimmy Space portrayed by Marlon Brando. Ooh. Ooh. I think he'd be a good... That'd be a good, good look. That's mm. like... Let's give that, him longer that, hair. That cameo is like the same as the old, uh, old Ben Kenobi cameo, isn't it? You yeah, know, like, like inexplicably famous actor in weird... Gets part put, on of the, weird put on the poster, but he's in the movie for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Super Penguin has donated fifteen hundred pounds. What? Whoa! Holy, Holy shit! Crap. That's a lot of pounds. Super Penguin. Someone wants to hear the Battle Boys theme song. And um, TJ, if you're listening, there's a there's a pop and also in the way. Martin, can't read the message. Martin in the Littlewood has donated a thousand pounds. Oh wow. my oh, god, yeah. Martin! Holy, Holy shit! Did he crap. push us over the line to get the Mental Health Foundation funded? I think. I think maybe. That's yeah. what it looks like. He says, good work, chat. Here's the top up. Thanks again for another amazing jingle jam. Oh Thank you, God. Martin. Pushing us over the line there, dude. Let's put some claps for, um, claps for Super Penguin as well, because he's, yeah. so that's £1,500 for, from Penguin. him. That's a huge amount of money. He says, loved all the streams this year, especially Slag Sleepover and Simon's special videos. <laughs> Did you enjoy that, Tom? That was a good stream, I think. It was very good. Simon, very good at finding... Stupid fucking videos. Well, I've always, every time I find a playlist of weird videos, I send them to Simon and he, he takes one or two out of the thousands. I say, of really, you did all the work. And no, no, did no, no, he went to it. was good to know that. No. <laughs> he's been rising high off well, that more. Well, in that case, I'm taking credit. I'm taking credit. I'm taking credit. Do you know what? My, I'm not going to even try and backtrack. It was. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Super Penguin. It's made a lot of work. <laughs> I'm not that one. <laughs> the true power behind the throne. I'm usually watching the Involves due to time difference, but took a break from work to get my donation in before the jingle jam ends. Thank you, Super oh, Penguin. Super good, sorry you have to go much. back to work. Oh, oh my god, what a huge donor! Much appreciated. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And obviously, thank you, Martin, as well. Last day today. Get your get your bundles in. Get your donors in. Do Last it. Chance for glory. Do it. Spiff. Uh, what was that? Last one of the season. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Potato uh, colon three C has donated 200 pounds as well. Big dono from him. Thank you very much. Um, let's carry on. Oh, he says, with this, my total donations come to 1,200 pounds now. Wow, that's a lot of money, Potato. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. Big donos coming in on the last day. Uh, big, bloody big donos dwarfing your 25 yeah. quid. But don't worry, if you're just buying the bundle, if you're just dropping 25 pound in, that's fine. That's amazing. That's great. Like, even that's if really we, good. Even if we can't read your message, because there are thousands, yeah, it's you're... all appreciated. And we really, like, together, sure, these big thousands are, are very generous and incredible, but we wouldn't be able to reach this incredible total of over two million pounds without all the smaller donations. With everyone. Like, Everyone's powers well, combined. Everyone, everyone, like everyone combined. You don't have to, you don't have to donate much, but thank you for these big, big, these big numbers. <laughs> are really, really helpful. Yeah, some people. Thank you. If you need like You can't those. be a leg because then no matter who else we get for the other leg, we'll be like lopsided. You're like, yeah. we have to find no, another like a, enormous man. A bit of a leg. You can be the people. Sorry. The people. <laughs> 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 well, we need a nice long pubis. <laughs> That's Alex. Yeah. Um, what are you? What, what am I? What's happening? There's not many questions left. Don't okay, worry. hit us. Hit us with <laughs> some more questions. <laughs> Tom, how are the the chamber militant of the Ordo Malleus band? Oh, you've got to know that one. Mm. So the chamber militant of the Ordo Malleus. The wait, what are they called? Yeah. They're the Grey Knights. Very good, Tom. Mm. Point for you. They're Grey Knights. They've got swords. Mm. Baby carrier. He yeah. has got the Doombot baby, baby carrier. carrier. And it's the guy. God help them. Who's the leader of the Grey Knights? Oh, the, the, the ridiculous guy. Who's, who's the best in stories? Drago. Kelgo or Drago, the Drago, best at everything. Just, he can just beat anyone. Yeah, yeah. He's the coolest. He goes and like fights bloodthirsters in hell for fun. And then yeah, comes like, back fights in time for like 20 bloodthirsters just at once. Disappears. And doesn't even break a sweat. Yeah, Easy. Alex, got a question for you. I don't okay. know if you're going to know this though. Yeah, probably. Suffer not the unclean to live is the start of which chapters or which um, Space Marine chapters battle vows? Is it Crimson Guard, 
Blood, blood ravens, Imperial Fist, or the Black Templar? Black Templars. Black Templar. Very maybe. good, Alex. It is Black Templar. Yeah, they suffer not yeah. the unclean to live. They're the angry ones. I yeah. thought you would have. We know how we feel. How about I thought them? theirs was different because didn't you? Wasn't your LARPing group? Didn't you use the Black Templars? Fucking no, battle him it, as your war crime. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but I don't know if it was Black Templars, it was just like generic Space Marine okay, stuff. Just generic, a lot of good stuff. Xeno, xenophobic, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was good stuff. Classic <laughs> Space <laughs> Angries. Who, which Space Marine chapter master is Pedro Cantor? A Crimson Fist. Fist. Crimson Fist. Mm -hmm. Well done, Ben. Uh, well, and which... Chapter's home world is Nocturne. Oh, um, oh Death uh, no, uh, Salamanders. Break, ben gets all of the answers right. <laughs> oh my god. Ben yeah. finishes on 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who thought the Jeez. Alex is on 17. <laughs> 25 for Tom, pretty close. And 30, 23 for Twitch chat. Not bad, mm. Twitch chat. Wow. Very close. Well done. Well done, everyone. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Good job. Well done. That was a that was a Warhammer quiz. That was really fun. That was cool. Ben, congrats. Quizzes. There you go. What do you win? What do I win? win? Biggest fucking nerd award. Oh. Yeah. First, uh, first pick from the sock. Oh, oh hey yeah. Yo. First pick into sock the sock. Time. Let's time to smash out this sock. <laughs> Let's get silly. Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy Space's Sock of Doom. Let me pack away all my, um, <laughs> all my bits. <laughs> I've just covered in I've little hands <laughs> and purity <laughs> seals <laughs> all over this table. Alex has a lot of painting. Can we get a yeah. zoom on Alex's? Oh, painting. Alex, this looks, you've he's actually done, done so thing. much painting yeah, on this thing. He's, he's more like a, yeah, he looks like Father Christmas now. I've painted up the shaman so he looks like Father Christmas. Can we get a zoom? We get a big boy. We get a big zoom. Alex, oh, he's looking cool. Yeah. Looking good. You've actually, a you've actually done a bunch of. You've put a lot of paint on this model. Yeah, yeah. That's not very Christmassy. Like the that, corpse. Yeah, the corpse thing. Oh yeah, shit. But other than that, uh, you know, yeah. the other day I was talking like, to you about weird burns in the. Oh yeah. Book. I found the line. Good start, yeah. Alex. Yeah. Uh, oh, very impressed. Uh, Roman X, the last, says it's been a. Hell of a shitty year. Uh, congratulations on an excellent Jingle Jam. One of the best ever. Amazing. And then Ben Dover donated £111 and says, GG boys. GG. Right, what are we doing, Ben? Um, I'm reaching into the Emperor's sock for a Christmas challenge. Christmas challenge. There's not a lot of rummage room, I don't think. I got a red one. Red one. Very Have you placed Christmas the Space Marine in red? Alex. Yeah. Oh, Goblin Green base as well. Yeah. Perfect. Saving us the trouble. That's the dream. <laughs> Did you, Do you want to use? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So we've got. We, we're gonna, each going to get a different coloured marine. Oh, and we have to paint I've them. got lime. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Very cool. And then Twitch chat will decide which one's painted best. Sure. Lime green. Oh my god, do with that. Oh, gold. Boy. Gold is a good Oh, oh so wow. gold. <laughs> really gold. Ooh, it's the most it. gold. <laughs> and pink. Oh man. These the are the gold ones you one. prepared. Gold one's legit. <laughs> and he's doing disco fingers as well. Look at him go. Look how oh, shiny wow. he is. He <laughs> looks like you really Oh covered. my god. And then we have the champion to paint at the end. It's either has, Captain Planet, their powers combined. He has all of the colours. Oh, um, I see, one, of, one quarter of each. So wow. he'll, he'll lead love. the squad, will he? Mm. Okay. Love that. So what, have we all got till the rest of the end of the stream to, to paint them? Is that the plan? Sure, how long is that? Uh, oh, not very long. like 20 minutes. Yeah, that's about right. Speed paint challenge then. Ooh. Okay. Ready, go. Oh, God. What, um... I'm on it. All right. Um, <laughs> what, 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 you got any brushes? What does it do? <laughs> yeah. I'll prepared for this. You've, 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 just, you've uh, half oh, the, you've biggest, <laughs> the biggest brush. Great. This is a real terrible old spray job you've done here, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the blue through it all. Do you think ours are any better than that one? <laughs> yeah. All right, give me. Um, yeah, what colours? What colours do you want? Well, I don't know. It's supposed to look like a super cohesive squad by the time we're done, yeah? Perfect. Maybe. I'm, I'm making mine a Christmas boy. Yeah? Nice. Oh, yeah, you've got a good... I've already got red. Jesus. So... 
That works for me. He's just gonna fucking wash it. And <laughs> yeah. then he's fucking done. He's monitors, he's done. Oh, that's real good. That's real nice. That's the putty. Mm. That's not what I want. No, what, what are you after? I don't know. <laughs> Inspiration. Inspiration. I'm just looking for some wild colours. <laughs> I'll go nice with a bright pink. Ooh. Azure. Nice. It's your Fusion 3. So what, what makes a good Space Marine colour scheme? What do you look for? What are your, uh, some of your favourites? What are some of the worst? Uh, I, like, I like the brighter ones. I like an yeah. Imperial Fist. I like Imperial Fists. Because mm. not only are they bright, but they're also high contrast. The black yeah. and the yellow. Yeah, high contrast is good. Um. Let's try and... Yeah, I'm just going to go over some of this immediately and try and <laughs> fix some of this stippling, <laughs> this spray. It's just like, he's, he's basically, he's green, but also he's blue. So I'm just gonna try and hide some of the blue first. It's kind of a cool pattern, but it doesn't look like um, anyone would choose this for their armor. It's kind of, it's kind of got a, it's got a special magic to it though. Looks Maybe like, he could be a camo marine. Looks like he's sprayed he's in dirt. Camo marines. Yeah, he could be like a, you know, Actual, actual tactics camouflage man. Oh, what like uh, Metal Gear? Metal Gear. Metal, metal Gear. Metal Gear. Camouflage action. Well, having said that, I have seen a few people like paint up their Marines like, like army men, and I don't I like never... it. I don't like it. So there, I did see one really nice version of it done called the. There's marines that are called like the gatekeepers or something. Oh, I saw them too. Yeah, like they they live on Cadia. Yeah, and they're green and they've got lots of just like ammo pouches and stuff. But they're quite and that's the best version of realistic uh, army colours I've seen. Yeah, and it helps because he's given them so much extra like baggage and stowage. They don't really look space marine anymore. They just look more like Call of Duty guys. Yeah. Um, big fan. Big fan of that. Quite a good look. Sorry, I'm stealing some of your black. Yeah, it's all good. I don't need very much. Just want to. Just... Oh, oh my god, we are, we are so close to our goal now. Uh -oh. What? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Tom's in trouble. Uh oh. We are uh -oh. only like six thousand pounds away. Wow. From singing the Battle Boys theme tune. Uh oh. With Tom taking part. Tom, uh -oh. Tom, Tom solo. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then we will have raised hell. more money this year than last year's Jingle Jam. That is... In half the time. In half the time, with the extra pressures of COVID and everyone having a hard time. Like, that is incredible. Incredible achievement that deserves song. <laughs> a song. Oh, no. <laughs> Warm up your voice, Tom. Me, 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 me. If we hit it, I will sing the Battle Boys. Ooh. If we do it, that's it's the only nice. time. You're going to take us to Pound Town. Take you to Pound Town. <laughs> Think about it. If everyone watching right now donated one pound, we would get to Pound Town. Oh, real, no. real soon. Is that how you visit Pound Town? Yeah, you just get everyone gives a pound. Thousands of pounds. Oh, wow. That's not what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> no. So this gold is so fucking shiny. I know. The paint doesn't dry on it. Oh shit! It's like. Uh oh. So I'm kind of I fucked might... myself a little bit. I think well. starting, <laughs> starting with the wash as Slattering well. Slapping the hobby and wash to start off with. And it's all just got straight to his ankles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit! You need to like varnish him or something first. I don't know. Also, he's one of the old classicos with a pair of helmets on him. Oh, all so, your yeah. squad leaders just dual wielding helmets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like throws one at someone else. Maybe one's like okay. night vision goggles or something. What's okay. a spare? You know, most, most space marine leaders don't even wear a helmet. But your guy, he's very sensible. He's like, okay. even if my helmet gets blown off, I've got another one. Double helmets. I'm going to make a, make a start on the sergeant whilst we're here. Because <laughs> okay. I don't know what else we're Give yourself do. a chance. <laughs> Well, while it's drying. <laughs> yeah. Well, the paint just won't even stick to this. The gold is so shiny, everything's just running right off. I don't know if you need anything else on him, honestly. Yeah, he's Maybe you could good. dry brush it to like get some of the shininess off. Yeah. Ooh. Stamp on it, then the, then the paint won't have time to run off, because it'll be dry already. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, what, what colours are you choosing for your complementary colours? 
I'm, mm. I'm going for white because I'm like bright, a very bright, bright yellow. Like it's very bright yellow. Yeah, absolutely. Is that even like more disgusting? Oh, I think I'll layer it. I'll put, I'll put the lemon. The lim Oh my god! I'm making like a a mojito, <laughs> Marie. Ooh, <laughs> that's tasty. He's like a lemon and lime mm. cocktail. No, that limey colour is kind of mantis warriors. Mantis warriors is a cool looking. Limey. Oh yeah, lime green. The mantis yeah. warriors look great. I forget what their colour is. Is it black? It goes with the lime green. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like black bits and some yellow, I think I've seen done on some of them. Mm. Yeah. Maybe white helmets? Yeah, that sounds well. Oh, that, that's the Nova Marines, I think. Mm. Maybe the Antis Warriors. I don't know. There's so many fucking Marine chapters. Mm. There's definitely some overlapping colour schemes. That's mm. true. Oh, man. Let's do the face. Let's paint this guy's face. Oh my god, I've got big old hair in my shoulder. <laughs> Ugh. How old is some of this paint? It's got like... Very. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just very. That's some 20 year old paint I can see yeah, from here. Yeah, like some of this stuff has <laughs> got to be 30 years old now. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Right. oh my god, chat's doing it. They're doing the pounding. I can see people reporting in. Uh -oh. mm. For Pound pounding? Uh -oh. Yeah, they've come back from Pound Town. Mission accomplished. Oh no. How was it? Tell us, chat, how was your Pound Town visit? And if enough of you go, we'll have to go there too. Oh no. Oh. Not like this. I know it's for charity, but please don't. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> Tom. We're gonna have to sing. Tom's never sung the Battle Boys song before. He doesn't want to start now. I'm gonna have to sing. 2020, Tom, it's been a shitty year. You could make it all better. You'll feel so much better when you're singing the song. It makes you feel yeah. alive, Tom. Make all your worries sink away. I've gone this long through my life, feeling dead inside. I don't want to start feeling alive now <laughs> by singing the song. It might kill you. It might kill me. Also, I guess if all your worries are, I don't want to sing the song. <laughs> yeah, pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty make, good year. Won't make your worries go away. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you have a ten tentacle pink? Uh, okay, I've seen some people in chat ask how to make a donation smaller than £25. All you have to do is you have to remove the, the Jingle Jam bundle from your rewards tab. Once you've removed it from your rewards tab, you can put in any, any amount you like. Um, but it defaults uh, up to 25 if you still have the reward claimed. Yeah, so be when, careful ooh. not to accidentally. So don't accidentally type in a number, pink. not notice that it pings back up again because you're trying to buy the bundle. Um, if you do want to donate less than twenty-five pounds, just remove the bundle from your rewards, and then and then donate normally. That's how. That's the route to Pound Town. Or you know, if you're feeling very generous, you could buy the bundle. You could donate another twenty-five. You got pounds. one. Buy it for a friend uh, or a family member. Yeah. And then you can play some of those multiplayer games. Like with them. And what an amazing present! You can be like, so I got your Christmas present. It costs over four hundred pounds. Yeah. Uh, so next year, step up your game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sculpture there. You're right. I did that actually the other day for a friend of mine. I bought down the bundle. Oh, nice. Dan? Yeah. My friend, no, our friend Dan, or a different Dan? No, a different Dan. Dan, these guys know, but I don't think you've met him. He used to work for Alex at the shop. Oh, Dan, Dan. Yeah. The Dan? Yeah, the Dan. The Dan. The Dan. Dan, Dan. Hmm. The Dan you know from the shop. Mm-hmm. What's you the know guy? Dan. Oh, Everyone knows someone called Dan. Wait, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to <laughs> curl, <laughs> curl that much. Let me smash a bunch of white out on this. Yeah, I've just got, I just got a little blob here. Um. Wow. Everyone's very... <laughs> serious business, Tom. There's a lot on the line here. It's very focused. Paying attention. Who today. won last year's? No, it was two years ago we last did a marine painting competition, wasn't it? I came last, I remember that. Um, I don't yeah. Remember that it was... Alex. Mm. So I tried to do the um, Howling Griffins, but oh. was given a black undercoated <laughs> model. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. I did not have enough time to. Oh, we had to build up the colours. We had random paints as well, and I think you had a texture paint. Oh, oh yeah, one of my paints was a texture <laughs> paint. Yeah, I, so, so I feel like that's not uh, really in the spirit. A decent handicap. Yeah. 
Uh, Luftwaffe uh, uniform, that's not what I want. I want silver, Alex. We've got silver in here. So yeah, there's like a bolt gun metal floating around somewhere. Yeah, I saw it. Is it this? Uh, this will have to yeah. do. Ooh. Whatever it's called now. Have you run into the problem of... I want like a lighter bits, silver. Yep. That's, that's, <laughs> that's my life. That's a fun bit. <laughs> Right. Have you got like a rune, f oh, yeah, like a, a rune, thing. rune thing steel? What, like a brighter silver? No, don't think this so. This will do. What's that? Oh, there's more bolt gun metal, actual bolt gun metal as well. I might need some of that in a second. A honest choice. Unless you've got a mithril. No, no. Alessandra has donated a hundred pounds and says, We are the painting pals, mini figs for guys and gals, <laughs> paint and glue, resin and tin orcs, bears, giants, and human. Merry Festag. Merry Festag. Festag, Alessandra. That was dangerously close to being a song. Mm. Dangerously <laughs> close. Yeah, you want to watch out, Alessandra. I'll not have that here. Not unless goals are reached. Work is done. Oh, God. Fuck like this. Uh, how's, how's it going? Um, pretty good. Still so I, wet. I've chosen the, yeah. wrong, the wrong red. <laughs> I picked up a red to like, correct my mistakes. Turns out it's a good shade and a half brighter than the base <laughs> coat of this model. That's okay. Um, wait, were you trying to highlight or base coat? I was just trying to um, clean up, clean up slippages. 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 Okay. How long we got? Not long. Ten minutes. Oh, ten okay. minutes. We're halfway oh, through. Oh, okay. You'd loads of time. time to place it. This is well, this is very generous. Last year, how long did we give ourselves? Five. Yeah, we had a lot less time last time. Mm. It was like ten, fifteen, I think. Um. Do you any any tips for speed painting? Uh, don't thin your paints. Ah, oh, mm. yes. Uh, normally, it just takes forever to you dry. should thin your paints, but speed painting it's got to go on thick, otherwise it will <laughs> never dry. <laughs> True. Unless it's the last thing you're doing, I guess. Oh, yeah. And you can leave it to dry. Yeah, I guess saving wash till last. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to put a wash on, but it will be the very last thing I do. But, uh, yeah. Mm. Um, I'd say put a really, really heavy wash on top of the metallic to start off with, and then just... <laughs> never just torpedo just, yourself for the rest just, of the just session. Just stare at it for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sadly, that I think it's going to look great. Yeah. I mean, this guy's looking pretty snappy. I think the pose alone on that guy's going to win it for you. Yeah, yeah, he's a great pose. And just the gold, gold, very fabulous. Yeah. I might just get the sympathy folk for being so crap at the quiz as well. Ooh. That's the way to do it. Do you get bonus points for wonky eyes? Yep. Perfect. Oh what? shit, you guys are doing eyes. Eyes? No, you just do the shade, the shade, the, the ink is the eyes. No, bonus points for eyes. The wonkier the better. Have you got a, a bare head or a... No, I've got a, a, a helmeted head. Helmeted head, yeah. So it's going to look even worse. <laughs> With the Wonko vision. It's going full Duke Nukem with the hair here. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, the guys are doing it. Well, we sorry, we're working real yeah, hard. Yeah, we're being a bit quiet, but they're, they're doing what? They're going to Pound Town while we paint these guys. That's the rule. That's the division of labor here. <laughs> We're all very, like, suddenly sucked in. <laughs> Especially since I've actually done any painting today. I've been fucking gluing and stuff. Mm, Quizmaster. Quizmaster. You did a very good job as Quizmaster. Thanks. Mm. Yeah. People really always good. say about me, mm. I'm a very, very 
quiz master. Very quizzical. I'm a great quiz master. Oh, look at Ben bringing out these advanced, advanced <laughs> blowing <laughs> advanced techniques. Advanced seed painting techniques. <laughs> 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 I don't know what. I can't do anything. Why is your paint so wet? Just don't. Because it turns out one of the paints I, I accidentally picked out contrast black instead of regular black. Oh, Ooh, shit. very wet. <laughs> that is just yeah. You're not supposed to. That's just a. That's just a leave on and dry, isn't it? Paint? Yeah. You just splash it everywhere, and it. Exactly. Okay, give it a little blow. Make everything's mistake. fine. How long have we got? Five minutes? Less than before. I'm just wondering if I can try and get some <laughs> checkerboard on here. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh. It's five. five to five? You do we're supposed to stop at... Oh, what is five to five now? Oh my god, we've run out of time. That's it. All right, give me the, give me the inks, quick. <laughs> what? Give me some Blue? inks, Alex. Um, what you got? Black <laughs> ink. Blue, black. Um, Thracker green, oh, that might be the one, the green might be. You said we had five minutes. Oh, what, we're we going all the way up to, uh, we're going all the way up to five. Please say we are. I need that time. We need it. Well, we need the time to get the money to get the song. Yeah, we oh, do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I think we're going to do that. Warm up your, warm up your vocal cords, Tom. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking happening. Fucking hell. God, turns out I'm real bad at speed painting. <laughs> That's what I've learned. You're today. really bad. <laughs> yeah, speed painting, hard. Not something I've really practiced. Really hard. Uh, oh shit, what's the goofiest color for his eyes? <laughs> Something nice and oh, that's just bright pink, sure. No way this can go wrong. One likes pink space marines. Well, his eyes are gonna be pink. Oh god. Oh my god. Let's see, thank you for your nice brush. Sorry? <laughs> thank you for the, the tiny brush as well. Do you want a tiny brush? <laughs> no. No, you got it. We're committed. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? It's bad, but not as bad. Oh, that one's worse. Okay, I'm, I'm going. I'm going the extra mile, which is a big mistake at this point. Yeah. It's oh, are you committing to the the giga wash? Oh no, no, no. That that comes after this last hurrah. Okay. The um the. The chapter symbol on the shoulder pad and, oh. and freehand chapter symbols. Ooh, bold. Two, two, oh, I, I, I balls this up. I've gone with a, this is very wet, this paint. <laughs> He's soaking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to resort to the, the old Ben Blowy strat. I feel mm -hmm. like it's kind of. Is it cheating? Pretty lame. Preserve, preserve dignity. Yeah. I don't know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta blow. It's just a wet ass mini, man. Wet ass minis. <laughs> <laughs> Wham. Wham. That's what, that's what they call it in the biz. <laughs> oh. Wham. <laughs> Wham. Wham. <laughs> Doing it. Oh, shit. I need some more of that. Mm. That good white. There we go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's catching on. We're, you all laughed at me. We're in a, such a hurry. Who's laughing now? Uh. Oh, I'll take that. That's just, that's just victory for me right there. That's all I needed. Vindication. 
What, chap the chapter mark? Oh, shit. What no, no, the fact that someone else did the blowing. <laughs> oh, right. Doing. You shushing your model? <laughs> no, I'm shushing Alex. He's laughing at me trying to paint fucking eyes with his like army painter brush. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's that's quite pretty. Do you like, I like it? it? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah. It's like a candy. <laughs> oh, shit, I feel like I need to go like a little bit wackier if that's the sort of thing I'm competing with. <laughs> you yeah, have <laughs> only a few seconds to uh, get <laughs> get some to get added, wacky. added wackiness in here, but. Okay, you know what? I think I'm fucking done. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm about as good as I'm gonna get as well. Yeah, fuck this shit. Without going <laughs> much more, much more ham. All right. Okay. <laughs> fuck! It's one of the worst things I've ever done. Uh, we got a donation from 110 pounds from a. Hey, Alcees, thank you very much. It says, Tom, you're gonna have to sing. Uh, it's gonna happen. Uh-oh. A big scary hobo. Tom, Ben, you both grew my love for Warhammer. I found a copy of Dreadfleet on your recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> recommendation. <laughs> and I can't wait you to start watched it play it, it right? <laughs> you remember we played it on yeah. Battle Boys. We yeah. did. Our recommendation for that every time is being, that is a terrible fucking game. It's <laughs> nice models. Very nice models. The game is game. garbage. It was an awful game, wasn't it? It was good fun. Uh, wow. Um, for one, it was like, what fun for one, one <laughs> rough play. I think it was a joke. Uh, the other Nurgling, thank you for your dono. Look, we've got all the Warhammer people mm. coming out. Um, and yes, Mini Noobster, oh the guy from Server 7, here's another Hundo. Oh my god, thank you so much. Ooh, shit. Hot Dog Shooter just donated, it's five o'clock exactly he donated on. Ooh, so we, we wow. have to stop, because we've got to prepare for the next stream. That's true. Please put down your brushes and put your models in the display area. Do you want to present them one at a time? Yeah, and just go. Sure, I've got the Mojito Marine. Um, I've done him wow. yellow shovel pads, that's literally all I've done. Okay. Um, there you go. Oh, he's nice! Oh, he looks great! He's very he's bold. He's got the knee pads, he's got the tra armor trim. Man, that's a good look. Good looks, um, yeah. looks good like a salamander. <gasps> we did it! Oh, fuck. We hit the goal! Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh. oh my god, they took us to Pound Town! Can you believe it? Oh no. That's amazing. Oh, oh no. Alex, let's get him next oh, no. up to his um, Ben his is the next one. Battle brother in arms. <laughs> we need to find out who uh, this we've is. We've got Christmas Marine, sent to. I don't know, has he got a, claws. Has he got a like Christmas gun. pudding on his Jingle Marie he's got, on he's his got shoulders. a Christmas tree. Very cool, man. <laughs> Very cool. He's got a Christmas tree and a white hat and baubles on his knees. Oh, you've made the, 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 the jetpack into baubles, I love it. Yeah, the baubles on the jump pack. Got the Very pack. clever, Ben. It looks like, um, what are they called? The... Blood Ravens. Blood Ravens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. There's, uh, there's the Alex's. What is this? I don't know. I did like two dudes. Um, we will in a second, TJ. Please, can we? All right. Thank you. Uh, it's like, oh, shit, so what's this? I don't know. Like, so there's like this guy. He's like the king of them. You've like done the sergeant dude. He's cool. He's got a bit of it yeah. all going on. What oh, man! He looks. He's got like a guy. Like, it's the guy theme. Here, the Alex. other one was this. I didn't realize it had to have a theme. Like the theme was like <laughs> I panicked with this guy. Look, the paint is still wet. It's just, <laughs> he looks great though. Yeah, yeah. Like, that like, actually looks like. Like look at this. That's where I tried to paint like blue onto his backpack. And it oh, it's dripped off. It just didn't, <laughs> it didn't does work not out. stick, right? <laughs> he's got a bit of ancient like, Egypt going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. Like, I like it. Yeah. Very stick cool. With that. And then finally, Tom. Bam. Here's my boy. He's um, oh, he's like Tom, it looks so good. He's like a candy man. <laughs> candy cane. He's got some white trim. He's got a pink gun. He's got I would his eat pink him. and blue quarters. Look how nice he looks on camera. For, um, he's good. He's come out really nice. For uh, that would be oh God, his Jingle Jam squad he's, has assembled. He's even got a um, Look, oh my I god, trans got rights his, marine. His guy. He is he's the trans rights colors. Oh, cool. Yeah. Bam. There you go, That's you got it. it. Transmarine. Thank Perfect. you very much. You we also had and a shit, big... so you fucking nailed that colour scheme. You did, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't the plan, but super happy. Yeah. It almost looks like his knee pads are little hearts, doesn't it? Um, 
He's done it. I, he had, I tried to paint on his knee pads like a pattern, but I had to go back and get rid of it because <laughs> it went so badly <laughs> wrong. I'm surprised you managed to do so much with a, what was sprayed a bright pink marine. You managed to hide the pink pretty well. Well done. So yes, we had a huge donor to finish this stream from Julius. We did. He donated 3,500 pounds to bring us over oh the limit. Oh my God, he did it. Julius Great. got us here. So this is a song well, for him. Julius. This is an incredible donation. Holy shit, Julius and everyone who donated this stream. You've done fantastically. <laughs> you pushed us over the edge. We've raised more in these last two weeks than we did all last Jingle Jam. It's fantastic. That's true. That's yeah. what we've just, that's Julius. the target we've Julius. hit today. Crazy. So this Jingle this, Jam was officially better than last year. Now. Tactical Squad Julius in action. That's, yeah. a, that's a good Marine Squad name. Thank you, Tactical Squad Julius. Um, and also, of course, the song. Who wants to start? Oh, We're going to have to ad lib this because we haven't played anything. Okay. Do you have to stand up? Yeah. Uh, I think, <laughs> sure. I think Tom, Tom starts and we'll join yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> Can we stand up? Do oh, we yeah, have we to salute? Oh God! Oh God! Wait, shall we say? So we do like because because normally we do I, I like the like end. A little trumpet mm -hmm. intro. We were. Oh yeah, you guys want. Do to you want to do the trumpet, Tom? Okay. You could do like. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to, to sing it. <laughs> we were whoa, 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 the whoa. battle. Wait, 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 wait! Give me some trumpet. What? How about that? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. And then, then you can do some humming or something. All right, I can hum. Mm. Are you guys singing on your own? Yeah, fucking sing it. Okay. Well, you guys are going to need to come in. We'll, 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 <laughs> I'll, we'll do the accompaniment. You ready? All right. Okay. I want that horn intro. Hey, we are the battle boys. We are the battle boys. We play with little, little toys. Tom, Tom is, is a battle boy. Alex is a battle boy. Lewis is a battle boy. Benjamin is a battle boy as well. So is Tom. So is Tom. <laughs> Hello, I'm Lucas. Like <laughs> wow. It gets worse every time we do it. All year, Somehow. we've been rehearsing and it really just really came together. I wonder why you don't like doing it. God. Um, doesn't your heart sing now? Yeah. Don't you feel filled with the Christmas joy? I don't feel with something. Thank you just posted a chat. Don't it's a final, no refund. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you. We're gonna. That's it. We're gonna set up for the fighting fantasy now. Me and Simon. Hopefully he's in. We're gonna hang out with Nina. We're gonna drink some uh, champagne or something and celebrate making a uh, making a hitting a massive target. Thank you so much, everyone who's joined us. Thank you, Alex, for coming in. Cool. No, thanks. And uh, see you next time. It's been great. Thank you all. Bye.